All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream. How are you all doing today? I hope everybody is having a fantastic day. I know I certainly am. Oh my goodness. Welcome, everybody. So today, guys, we are currently back on Toast Kingdom 2.0. We're going to continue on with this crazy build that I've got going on. Um, I'll just kind of show it off a little bit so you guys can see. Yeah, so it's uh, it doesn't look like too much at the moment, but essentially this is going to be a two-story building eventually. Um, glass tunnel here, it's going to have a glass tunnel up top as well, like a matching one. And then uh, this is the actual greenhouse that I'm currently working on. I still need to do a little bit of a test and make sure, because I believe these will actually have the greenhouse effect. They do. Um, but I need to make sure they can get it through two layers of greenhouse walls, which I think they can, but that's going to be a bit of an issue. I am having the most trouble moving right now. It's great. <laughs> uh, Fel, how's it going? Sonar, welcome. Enjoying the headdress. I love my headdress. It's, uh, it's actually one of my favorite skins, I think, is this, uh, this chieftain headdress. They're amazing. Hey, Apex, how's it going? Welcome. Bo, how are ya? Where's your ivory? Up on the roof, chilling. You can see his name up there. He's doing his thing. He's being cute. So we have the most items. Let's go ahead and finish off the greenhouse roof first, and then we can continue building from there. That's going to be kind of the idea. I don't think I have anything actually crafted yet, which is totally fine. Um, these. We need a bunch of these. Not that many. We'll just make like 58 of them. It'll be great. It'll be great. Uh, we also got this lovely gift from another tribe on the server. This is like the cutest bear ever. Let's see if I can back up a little so you can actually see him. He's like purple and cyan. He's beautiful. He's such a pretty bear. Such a pretty bear. Uh, Becca Chu, welcome. I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? Super happy to have you here today. Karen, that's interesting information. Um, Kaylin, you watch my videos every day. Thank you so much, man. I'm really glad that you are enjoying them. It's good stuff. All right, I might also work on some battlement walls today because we keep having things wander up and attack. Like, a lot of fairies do spawn up here, so I might try to build some battlement walls just to kind of, I don't know, like, wall this off and keep it a little bit more protected from wild creatures. We're also probably going to go ahead and throw in some uh, some turrets at some point. I think we're almost the right level for that. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's a slow thing. Uh, do I play with a controller? Jack, no, I do not. Lillian says, what's the code for the server? Um, I'm not giving away the password for this particular server. This server is a patron-only server, so if you would like to play on it, you do have to become a patron. Um, let's see... I think that was a subscription. There it is. Savage, thank you so much for subbing, man. Welcome to the channel. How's it going? Hope you are having a fantastic day. So let's go ahead and pull out my griffin, because my griffin is my building buddy. Sean says your builds are awesome. Thank you. I don't feel like I'm very good at building, but I've been trying to do more interesting and different types of builds, um, and hopefully that is actually getting shown off a little bit. I do have a strange addiction to greenhouse structures. I love the way they look. I hate how weak they are. <laughs> Chiga, welcome. It's been long, long time since you watched the stream. Well, welcome. I'm super happy to have you here. Hey, Mario, how are you today? Welcome. Um, did I at some point join the server of the spot? Soul, no, I did not. That was probably an impersonator. It's not uncommon. A lot of people do use my name when they join servers now. Um, all right, let's grab some of these. That's a fair amount to get us started. And I'm a little bit stuck on some of the creatures I have in the base. Um, what do you play on phone? Uh, typical, the phone that I have is an iPhone 8 Plus. If you're asking, like, what else I play on my phone, um, the answer is... <laughs> The answer is a little bit more complicated. I do have a little bit of Call of Duty Mobile that I play, uh, Dead by Daylight Mobile. I have played Stardew Valley on here, but it's not the best on mobile. It's not my favorite game to play on mobile. Eh. Don't throw me off. There we go. It's always a trick with those guys. They always want to chuck you, like, way over the edge. Okay, so we're going to lay down some of these ceilings. 
kind of get this going. There we go. Cassie's coming with more metal. Thank you so much, Cassie. That can go straight into the smithy. If you would, please. Alright, let's grab this. So, the g basic goal for today, guys, is I want to start working on, one, where to put a hatchery, and two, where to sort of finish off this particular, um, these two builds here. So, basically, the second story is of these, the second tunnel, which is going to be probably the biggest challenge right over there. It's going to be like a floating tunnel. It'll be a little tricky to build. Um... <laughs> I am on a patron server, that is correct. Uh, it is called Toast Kingdom 2.0, if you guys are curious, that is the name. You have some great news about Call of Duty Warzone. You have the blue iguana skin camo. Nice, Genius, I did see that you got that, man. It looks amazing. I love it. Alright, so what all do I need here? Tis the question. I think... I think the main thing that I'm going to need, if I'm not mistaken... Um, there's a lot more greenhouse ceilings. Hey, KK, how's it going? Probably, probably should ally. So that things don't die. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright, so, got that allied, and, yeah, I'm trying to figure out the roof line I want to do for these as well. And I'm actually curious, uh, I think I might have to build a metal hatch instead of a because there isn't, like, a greenhouse hatch. Um, hey, Mantle, how's it going? What mods are on the PC servers? Oh my god, you texted me. I'm so sorry. I, like, spaced on that. I was going to answer, and then I forgot. Uh, the mods on the PC servers are, I believe... Let me think here for a second. So, Awesome Spyglass, Awesome Teleporters, Classic Flyers, um, and S+. I think those are the main four mods. Uh, and then... The rates are super boosted, but if you are curious about the rates mental, you can click on one of my cross arc videos and there's a little Google Doc in the video description that shows all of the rates. So that's probably the easiest way to look at what they are. Perfect. Alright, and then I'm going to build like that. Beautiful. This is going to be perfect. I'm excited. Yeah, sorry I, like, spaced on answering your message the other day, Mental. I just am the most scattered these days. All right, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. It's going to look amazing. Uh, Willow, thank you so much for the Streamlabs donation. Using a new account for streaming, so if your account looks different, that's why. All right. Also, if you see a Terra, can you tell me? I'm trying to tame one. If you have any spare meat, that would be nice. You got Ark on your PC, but you don't know how to join the servers. Uh, Willow, so to join the servers, you do have to kind of be on the Discord, because I have a little instruction set, which I know that you're not supposed to be, so that's that's going to be trickier. I can send you the messages, but it will be... Um, it's, it's kind of a complicated instruction, so I can just copy-paste and send them to you, if you remind me. Um, I will let you know if I see a Terra. All right, let's see... This is going to go here. Y'all. Beautiful. Alright, we're doing all of the build today. Tis the goal. So this is going to be a really interesting building. This is for me. Oh, thank you! It's so green! It's so green. Look at this thing, it's magnificent. Two shades of green and a green saddle. I feel like we should name it, like, Hulk or something. It's just, it's so green. It's actually beautiful. Um, can they add new maps? Uh, Jack, probably they could add a new map. Um, I don't think that they have plans to, at this point in time, add a new map. Oh, a pego! Thank you. And a giga. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So appreciated, man. Spinal Raptor, hello, man. Welcome. Oh, auto turrets, yes. Yes, auto turrets are gonna be everywhere. I'm actually gonna build, like, little turret towers all around my base just to just to keep the bad things away. It is gonna be a thing. 
because they are so everywhere here. Okay, I think this is placed correctly. Beautiful. All right, so I need some stone ceilings as well because uh, the base of the walkway is going to be stone and then it's going to turn into glass when you get in here. So hopefully this will keep the greenhouse effect. That's going to be the real trick. I hope I don't have to put all my things on the bottom floor. Um, all right, and then let's bring Tev down here. Uh, Kakarata, I'm not giving away the password for this particular uh, server because it is a patron-only server. So it is limited only to the people who are patrons of the channel. If you are interested in becoming a patron, there is a link to my Patreon webpage in the description down below. And if not, I do have free servers that you guys are more than welcome to play on, and I do do community streams on those. We did one just last week. Uh, it was a heck of a lot of fun, and you guys are always welcome to do more uh, and show up on those. I do like to have people join. Yeah, perfect. All right, so this is kind of a mirror of the stone building I have over on the right. Beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so I need a few more glass ceilings, like a bunch more. <laughs> oh, it's fast, too. It's already leveled. We're going to park it right here for now. I am going to turn this area here into kind of like a long little garden as well. So it's going to be fun. This is going to be a cool area. The Trike shall have its revenge. Yeah, it might, Allie. It might. I'm... <laughs> I'm deathly terrified that more trikes are going to show up and destroy what I've built, which is like, it's so fragile. It's so fragile. Nad Nad says play Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft in a while, um, and I'm not very good at Minecraft because I've only played like a grand total of six hours of Minecraft in my life. So we could see. We could see. If enough people want it, we can play it. All right. Uh, just to keep... Oh, I'm the most stuck on all the creatures. All right, just to keep these eggs from spoiling, and I'm going to place that there until I can get a tower built. Apex. Oh, thank you. I feel like I missed one. The long reach. We're doing the long reach. There we go. <laughs> Cassie says, take this cookie. Oh, no. Not a cookie. Oh, look at this cookie. Oh, my goodness. Yes, we'll take this cookie. It's adorable. It's adorable, guys. I love these. Um, Turtle Tat says, how do we play in the free servers? So, Turtle Tat, uh, all you need to do to join the free servers is just to... Um, basically, all you really need to do is just look them up and join them. There's no password or anything, so uh, search in the correct region, which is the North American region. That's where I base my servers. Um, so tap the NA region filter, make sure all your other filters are off, and type in Iguana. That will bring up the PvE and PvP servers. If you're interested in playing a PvX server, you can type in Toast, and that should bring up Toast District, which is a PvX clock server. They are super, super fun. We have amazing people on them, so I do recommend joining those and hanging out with us. All right, so we're going to build those, finish off that building. Um, I do need to make a couple of these, so do I want to do that first or later? I think I want to do that later. Let's go ahead and make some stone buildings, because I can do that in my inventory. Do I have stone in here? I feel like I, yeah, we have lots of stone in here. We have all the resources, and it's amazing. I did have people who were the most helpful. <laughs> so many people have been helping me gather resources so that I could do this build. It's such an intense build. All right, what do we need? More stone. There we go. Um, when will they add the hyena in Arc Mobile? Uh, Kaylin, I don't think they have any plans to add the hyena, as far as I know. Um, I would definitely like to check that out, though. If they did, if they could add it, I would be so excited. The hyenas are really cool. Um, in another stream, you donated $2 and you didn't notice. Abdullah, I believe that was probably on my dungeon stream if I didn't notice it right away. And I think I did see it after I was done. But it's really hard on the dungeon streams 
because I'm so focused on not dying, I sometimes uh, take a bit to respond to even donation messages. It's a little bit more tricky. But uh, thank you so much for the donation, man. They are always super appreciated. And I'm sorry if you feel like I didn't notice. <laughs> always, never, never feel bad about asking a mod to yell at me if I missed a, a notification. Um, let's see. <laughs> when did I get the griffin? Epsilon, I actually got the griffin as soon as I turned level 40. I tamed a male and a female griffin, and then I've been waiting until I get a proper hatchery built to do anything with those. But I do actually already have the griffins, which is kind of nice. All right, so now we've got all these stone ceilings. Now we've got all these ceilings. Let's go ahead and start that. More stone in the stone box. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have the most stone. Oh, Apex, you're my hero. This build is going to be so much easier. So much easier with all this going on. All right, we're also very weighed down. So let's grab you... I could technically take the ladder, but I like using my griffin to build. It makes me happy. Uh, what is my PVE server name? Sindhu, it's iguana underscore PVE. <laughs> Do I know if Wardrum is going to add a new map? Alvaro, I've heard nothing about a new map. I don't think that they could add one very quickly. Um, it took them, what, two years to develop just the island, and that was a port. That wasn't even an original map. So um, if they were going to add a new map, I would hope that it would be mobile exclusive, um, but I don't think they're going to anytime soon. I think that's something that if it is going to happen, it would be a year or more out, unfortunately. Tips to get a lot of iron. Uh, legendary, if you need to get a lot of metal, I actually really recommend get yourself a Quetzal and get yourself a really high level Anki and then go to the mountain that the blue obelisk is on. It's called White Sky Peak. I get the most metal from White Sky Peak. Um, I don't even get my metal from the volcano because it's like the, the spawns are really dirty. I don't know. You get a lot of uh, stone with them. Um, but for these, you get the most. Yeah, you get just like an insane amount of... Uh, what is it? You get an insane amount of metal from White Sky Peak, and it's pure metal, which is really nice. So you get a lot less stone and other things when you break those nodes. Okay, I need literally, like, three more of these. Sad. All right, let's go make those. Pev, let's go. Pev's being amazing. We're actually going to make some progress on this build today. That is the goal, and it's going to be beautiful. Hi, Willow. Let's do a wave. That's a really cute Dodic, and I love him. Pudding is adorable. Um, Sana, you've been noticed. How's it going? Uh, Scott, how are you as well? Rainbow, how's it going? It has been a minute. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here today. All right, let's go ahead and grab some more of my thatch. We'll grab that 29 too so we can use it up. A uh, bunch of stone. And can I fit any wood on me is the question. The answer is not a lot, not a lot of wood, but that's fine. I only needed enough to make some more of these ceilings. Because I am going to need a lot more of these in general. I plan to do um, a whole other section, so this is just two out of three sections of my base. What's my favorite color? My favorite color is like a very specific shade of uh, dark green, Kokloa. <laughs> uh... Elfinsat, hello, how's it going? Welcome. Sebastian, we are on Toast Kingdom 2.0. Where are the griffins on the map? They are on a mountain called Far's Peak. Um, I'm actually very close to that. If you guys hold on a minute, I will pull up my map so you guys can see where we are. Bam. Okay. So over on the right, you see that big cluster of like glowing dots with my little player icon spinning around. That is me. Um, just north of me, there's a mountain that you can see. That is Spars Peak. That is where they spawn. The griffins spawn only in that top right corner of the map. Uh, you can craft stone stuff for me while I place it. Oh, Apex, thank you. And let's see. What do I need? I need stone gates. Um, I need a few more stone ceilings. Compies are attacking my griffin. Oh, no. Which one? Which, which which griffin? Are they attacking Iona? Because that's bad. 
Iona has no health. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Iona's fine. I worry about Iona because it was a level 5 tank. <laughs> oh, Pev. Okay. Pev's fine. Pev can handle it. Okay. We're, we're good. Alright. It's also the most dark right now, which is not helpful at all. There. Now they can't attack. Just be careful. Remember, guys, this building is made of glass. Please try to keep wild creatures far, far away from it. Um, hey, Nacho, you stink. <laughs> uh, will the Arc devs add a new dino on Arc Mobile? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I, I hope that they will someday. I don't know how soon that may be, or if they have plans for that at all. Um, it looks like currently a lot of their efforts are focused on, um some like exploits and things that have been popping up from what I've seen. There's been a lot of like PVP drama that the devs have had to deal with, which does slow down actual game development, unfortunately. Um, so that's been a problem. I need glass walls now. Oh my gosh, this is for me? Eerie cookie. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, it's perfect. So now we have a cookie and an eerie cookie and it's, it's the cutest thing. Follow me. I'm going to lead him more onto the roof so he's safe. Come here. Come here, Cookie. Oh, no. Oh, no, what's attacking? No attacking. Everyone stay far away from my walls. Panic mode. All right. We're okay. We're okay. Nacho, if you bring a Giga to my base, I will 100% like ban you from everything. This thing is made of glass. <laughs> It's it's not a good idea. I don't even want to compy near it. These things have no health. Even if I punch them, they break. It's terrible. Okay, so we've got all that. Um, I need to get some walls going is what I need to get going. Because we're going to need stone walls. We're going to need glass walls. I think I should start with the gates. If we have the gates first, that's the that's the major thing. Um, yeah, we can transfer that and these. I'll use those in a bit. All right, so I need to make some more glass. Yeah, we'll just make like six of those. Um, and then a bunch of these. And then I need to make a bunch of stone walls. So much going on. This is really going to be an intense build, hopefully. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this build too. It is it is one of the most ambitious builds I've ever done. So we'll see how well this works. Um, can I not? I, I picked up too much stone. Got it. There we go. That's way better. All the walls. Um, can I name the RG Clover? Oh, Clover's a perfect name for it. Thank you. Yes, Seamus, we will name the RG Clover for sure. Raptor of Shadows. Uh, the server is called Toast Kingdom 2.0. It is a patron-only server. Get Perlavia for defending. I will definitely get a Perlavia. Um, I think that's going to be a useful thing to have. I probably won't even keep it near my base. I'll probably keep it spread out in the woods somewhere. Just to stash a few important items. Apex, uh, what server am I playing on? Toast Kingdom 2.0. It won't take a giga to break that? No, Bo, it would take nothing. Like, you could literally walk by and punch it, and the whole thing would shatter. That's what, one of the reasons I'm going to put up turret towers, is to protect it. Um, Uncle Vincent, welcome, how's it going? Uh, Kevin Cruz, welcome, how are you? Uh, Sour Soul, you're the 100th liker. Oh my gosh, we already have 100 likes. We do. Thank you guys so much for hitting that like button. Really helps me out. Um, <laughs> I'm everyone's senpai. I, I will take that. That is an honorable term. I like it. You have the primal pass in level 73, and you'd love to use the server transfer ticket to the server. Uh, Venom, if you become a patron, that is something that you could potentially do. I do have transfers available for people who are patrons. Alright, so we're gonna grab these gateways, um, and these doors. This is gonna be... oh, this is the most heavy. 
Right, because I'm crafting all of these stone walls as well. Bam, there, no, too many? Still too many? Okay, no, we're still the most weighed down. We'll take half that. That's better. Okay. So basically, this is going to be the trickiest part because these tunnels really don't like to place properly. Um, where did I place that? Oh, I messed it up on the other side. That's okay. It doesn't super matter. I might redo those ladders. We'll see. We'll see how much it bugs me. All right. So the goal here is to place these exactly on top of that one. Okay, hold on. I want it back where it was. And then, is that the correct snap? Does that match the snaps that I have down below? I can't see it. I, the most cannot see it. Pev, come here, I need your help for a second. Oh, I'm so, it's so dark and I hate it. It's so dark and I hate it, I can't see it. Fantastic. Love it. I love when things don't match because I can't see. Rain and dawn. Not a good combination on this game. I may have to destroy that. Luckily we have a lot of mats. Okay, so that was faced outside. Let me look at one of these. No? I think I messed it up. Wide side out, I think. Oh my gosh, why is it so hard to see, game? Uh, Phoenix, welcome. How's it going? <laughs> Uh, how's my day at night? It was actually really good. It was a nice quiet day. I played, uh, Satisfactory, actually, quite a bit on my own, which is a really, really fun PC game that I'm very much enjoying. It's a grind, but I think it's actually gonna make me a better builder because I will learn how to plan before I place things down, which would be great. No, no, that's right. Okay, so this is placed correct. I basically had a heart attack trying to figure that out. Um... <laughs> Iguana Gaming, love from the gaming DJs. Thank you so much for subbing, man. Do appreciate it. I love your channel name. That is amazing. Hope you are having just like the best day. Okay, so basically this is going to be tricky because these snaps get messed up really easy. So I need this to be on the outside snap. There. And then faced that way. Okay, so this is, this, there is a reason for this, guys. Bear with me. I need to test a thing real quick. Because if you don't place these the right way, the ceilings won't snap for the top of the tunnel. Which is, like, the worst thing that can happen. I need a ceiling so I can test it. Which would be ideal. Um... Oh my gosh, Roblox, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome to the channel. I might not catch every single sub. Sorry, guys. Willow, thank you so much for the Streamlabs donation. You just put stone in your smithy. Do you want more? Um, I should have plenty, Willow. I have, like, a whole box full. And you can go on Discord. You just can't talk to people. Did the thing you said about joining servers. Couldn't find the add server button. I was the first liker. Not that that matters. It matters. It always matters. The people who get to the streams and videos first, I actually really appreciate every single one of them. That notification squad makes such a big difference in terms of how well a video does. So I actually really like it when people pop in there and try to be the first person. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. I am the most weighed down, Cassie. Hold up. I can't move. Um, this is a problem. These are so heavy. I need these battlements, I do, but I have to do this, like, funky little, yeah, 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 there we go, uh, Ivory, thank you, you are gonna be the most helpful, oh, it's beautiful, and then a behemoth gate as well, oh my gosh, you guys are amazing, and then these little gates, yes, all the behemoth gates and battlements, thank you so much, Cassie, I love how people are helping me build this, um, <laughs> Agri, how's it going? Welcome. Oh my gosh. Harry, welcome. How are you? <laughs> Aileen says, Welp. Welp what? Can you name a Prolavia warning because you lost yours during a giga fight? Uh, potentially we could name one warning. That's a great name for a Prolavia, actually. What do I need to be crafted? Stone walls. 
Stone walls. That's the big one. I'm going to need a lot of stone walls in the future here. I have mail as well. Oh, thank you, Willow. Ooh. It's a nice little shotgun blueprint. I like it. That is going to be handy. That is going to be really handy. <laughs> Behemoth and gateways. Same size. It's not little. No, no, no. I, I saw that. There are a bunch of behemoth gateways. It's going to be so useful. All right. So I need, like eight of these okay um i flew down on pev there we go yeah yeah okay i'm figuring this out as we go it's it's literally a work in progress the tunnel is the most important part so um at least oh i hate the green fog the tunnel is the most important part aesthetically so i'm gonna try to make sure this works first before I build up the other, like, parts of these builds. Um, how do you get stone stairs? Azon, uh, the stone stairs are a purchasable ingram, so you have to go to Decor, I believe. And is it under Garden? I think it's under Garden. But I already have a purchase. No, is it Garden or Furnishings? Which one is it? It's somewhere. It's somewhere in these. It's not rugs. It's not accessories. Oh my gosh. It's it's one of these. I think it's garden. I'm not 100% sure. But it is a purchasable ingram that you do have to get actually in these menus. Um, yeah, so that's basically where it is. Uh, apologies that I can't point it out because I already have it purchased and I'm pretty sure it's one of these but the ones that are already purchased are not showing up for me um, so I think the stone stairs is in with all the garden stuff which I will be getting more of as well it's in garden that's what I thought that's what I thought um, Edmund thank you so much for the super chat it was your birthday yesterday not to brag happy birthday Edmund I hope you had a fantastic day I really do. Make the base really big plus protection. Yeah, we are going to add a lot of turret towers to protect it. How much element for Griffin Kibble? Um, KK, I am not ready to produce Griffin Kibble yet. Um, so that would be a ways out. But I won't charge you anything for it. Once I start making it, it'll just be free. Okay, perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'll just give it to you once I have it. It's just a matter of getting it. Um beautiful okay so then this is I did not actually end up grabbing that place there we go okay so I want it on these and I want it facing the other way okay this is the most difficult, confusing part of this whole process. All right, so the thick side should be facing inward. Yeah, just like that, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh, almost jumped off, it's beautiful. Yeah? Yeah, I feel like that's right. I feel like that's right, but I'm the most lost. Lots of stone walls, gates, ceilings, anything else. Um, mm, greenhouse walls, if you go ahead and craft those, that'll be useful. I am going to need a bunch of those as well that I don't have crafted up yet. I also need to, like, level. I'm leveling so fast. <laughs> I'm leveling so fast with this. Oh, my goodness. Um... And Dex says, you've been helping me so much. Thank you for that. And don't ever stop making the videos. Greetings from Brazil. And Dex, thank you so, so much, man. I really appreciate that you like the videos that much and enjoy them. I definitely will keep going with them. Um, can you rank the bosses on PC from worst to best? Ooh, if I can remember all the bosses. Let's see. Worst to best? Lava Pidgey. Uh, Dodo Bitus. Um, Let's see. Who else is bad? Probably the Gula Beetle, because he's tough, because he can one-hit kill you if you're not careful. Um, 
Dodic is hard to avoid. Nidaria is pretty tough. So in that order, Dodic, then Nidaria. Uh, who else is there? Then there's... I think it's just Chally, Megapithecus, and Broodmother. So I would go Megapithecus, then Broodmother, then Chally. Chally's like a super easy boss. I think that's all of them. I think there's nine bosses, if I'm not mistaken. Noctis, I didn't add Noctis in there, but Noctis is so rare, he almost doesn't even count. Um, but Noctis would be... He's pretty tough, too, if you're not careful. So I would say the Noctis is probably down there near... Um, he's probably just between Gula Beetle and the dodo um and then thank you so much for the super chat can i make an ascendant moza yes i can and that is on the list i will be making those at some point that will be a thing quit jumping sideways game you can do it all right so let's see if we can place these back to actual building there we go beautiful that's what i wanted that's exactly what i wanted all right now I place the walls. Okay, and then I can place the ceilings. Okay, perfect. So I'm actually building the ceiling first. Um, and the reason for that, guys, is that the ceiling is actually the hardest part of these tunnels because it's so tricky to snap correctly. But I think we've got it. I think it's going to work. So we'll go ahead and put the doors in now. Um, and then we can finish off the walls. And once the tunnel's done, then we'll move on to actually, like, finishing off the full bases themselves. And then we'll take a look at how it looks from the outside, which I'm actually really excited about. No gaps. Please be even. You are not remotely even. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's terrible. All right. Some of these snaps are going to be a little bit funky to get because of the way that I'm building this. There. Perfect. Now that I got that side, let's do this side. Beautiful. Okay. So far, so good. Um, Edmund, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my goodness, you are killing it today. Am I sub to PewDiePie? I don't believe I am, actually. I think I... I don't think I'm subbed on my other account either, so I don't think I'm subbed at all. Which, he does have some good content that is fun. I have watched some of his stuff. Okay. We need, we need those walls is what we need. Um, let's go ahead and put the stone walls there for a moment and grab these walls. I can also put these back for now because those are good. Oh, I'm the most way down, but it's fine. It's going to be worth it. Uh, Modzaki says, finally, I'm not late. Welcome, Mod. How's it going, man? So happy to have you here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And it says, no more notations by me. Please help me. Oh, Edmund, they are so appreciated, man. But yeah, don't ever feel the need to donate, for sure. <laughs> it is uh, so appreciated. Thank you so, so much. You're here with gifts there in pudding? Ooh, Willow. Uh, let me, let me finish this chunk of build. I want to make sure that this is going to look good. Which is not always easy to do. These tunnels are, like, really tricky to place in a way that looks nice and clean. So that the snaps aren't crooked. Um. <laughs> Bye, Rainbow. Thank you so much for hanging out. Rogue, it has been a while. How are you? The guy who watched your streams in class? P.S. Sub to PewDiePie. <laughs> Thanks, Rogue. Yes, I do remember you, actually. It has been a minute. I have not seen you here in a while. So thank you so much for coming out today. How have you been? Also, I should definitely sub to Pewds on the non-gaming account. That'll be a thing. All right. Let's grab that. All right. So this is going to be this trickier snap. There we go. There we go. All right. That's one. Make sure these are all even. I have to be so slow and careful. That didn't, there we go. Didn't want to snap. 
It's all right. We made it. We made it work. I am the most excited for this build to actually be done. Like, you guys don't even know how long I've been thinking about and working on this build kind of behind the scenes. Um, <laughs> how to craft so many things at once. Uh, Aiden, you have people helping you out. Um, you can craft stone in your inventory, and then you can craft glass while you're, uh, like, in the smithy. So you can craft those two things at the same time. It's not easy. What's the best way to tame a saber tooth? You're new to Arc Mobile. Uh, why do, why do heck? Uh, best way to tame a saber tooth, in my opinion, is to bola it and then shoot it in the face with drank arrows. That is my favorite way to tame saber tooths. They're actually really easy to tame. They're not, they're not a tough tame necessarily. You're by the greenhouse. Nice. All right, I'll go over there. Once I grab these ceilings, we can go see what you got. There we go. Bam. We're getting there. This is like a group project. Hello. Oh gosh, look at all these. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the seeds. Are you sure? Those are going to be like <laughs> super, super um, useful to me actually, Willow. I don't think I can take the beanie, but I can definitely take this and the dust. Yeah, the beanies are premium, so they're bound to you. But thank you so, so much. Um, let's actually do a little... I hear revival. I hear a revival noise, and it makes me nervous. <laughs> um, Edmund, thank you so much for the super chat. Yes, sub to the god. Don't let Cucamelon win. Okay, and <laughs> Deal. Deal. We'll do the subbing just for you, man. Thank you so much for the super chat. Do you see that your side saddle? Yeah, I love the side saddle. It's a whole thing. Oh, no, I threw cookie. Cookie, no, I didn't mean to. I pressed the wrong button. Well, you're safe in the corner. Who brought a big creature thing? I hear it sounds like a giga. It sounds like a Giga, and it makes me nervous. Please keep it away from my base. Yep, it is a Giga. Hi! He's so pretty! He's actually gorgeous. I like the cyan. He looks good. <laughs> Don't let him destroy stuff. The Treks are resurrecting themselves. They better not, Allie. I... Oh my gosh. If a Trek comes anywhere near this, I'm not even gonna touch it. I'm, like, afraid to touch them. I need so many turrets up so that nothing can get remotely close to this base. It's all glass. Um, <laughs> Giovanni says, Yaki Coco Melon. Oh my gosh, guys. Good night, Lemons. Thank you so much for hanging out. Xenox, welcome. How are ya? Fake Crow. <laughs> yeah. William Nolte, how's it going? Welcome. <laughs> Steven says, how do you have a griffin already? Steven, um, I share a name family with the N.A. Griffin, so I can tame them starting at level 40. It's very, very handy. Do recommend making that name thing so that you can uh, tame them early. It helps a lot with uh, building and stuff, too. I like to use my griffins for building rather than argies because they're just a little bit easier to maneuver. Look at that perfection of a tunnel. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All right, so now that the tunnel is complete, and I think it looks fantastic... Go ahead and take a look at it from the outside. Make sure it looks the way I thought it would. Listening in as you do homework. Aw, Apex. <laughs> yes. Yes, it looks great. And then I'm actually going to light these tunnels up, too. There's going to be some lights in them. Um, hopefully, they'll look good. Genevon, hello. Welcome. How's it going? Jess says, I'm suspicious about you and Schwab. How so? Giovanni, do I play on any type of console? Giovanni, I don't play ARC on consoles, but I do have a bunch of consoles. I do have a Nintendo Switch, um, a PS2, I have an Xbox One as well, and an N64 that I sometimes actually still break out and play because it's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. All right, well, it sounds good. You'll be back with new gifts. All right, I need water. There we go. <laughs> It's, it looks great. I'm actually really hyped for this build. Um, okay, so I need, 
All the walls now. Let's go ahead and grab the glass walls. I'm gonna work on the walls for now on. There we go. Um, yeah, let's grab these. And then I need a bunch of stone walls as well. How much can I dig without weighing myself down? A little more. That's about it. We're gonna be a little slow, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Check my mail. All right, Cassie, I will. Let me place these walls down so I can move, and then we'll then we'll go check the mail before we get the next set. All right, so let's finish off these real quick because these are windows. So let's place these. I feel like those are. Yeah. No? I feel like that's off. I placed you on this side. Yeah. Okay. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah? Why is that? No, that's placed wrong. That is placed the most wrong. That one's correct, but this one's wrong. There we go. Okay, so that one's right. Oh my goodness. The snaps on these are a little tricky because of the way that I built them. There we go. Um, yeah. There. Okay. They're a little tricky because of the way I built them, but I, I can make them work. <laughs> Just takes a minute. No one sneezed near the greenhouse structures. It could be end in disaster. It really could, Scott. It really could. They look so good, but they are the most difficult. The most difficult structures to build, I swear. Um, why do I feel like that's not right? They're ridged there. Yes, they're they're wrong. They are the most wrong. Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta, this is why it sucks. You have to like replace them every 10 seconds. Hold on, let me find the right snap. Is that right? That's right, okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. We got it, we got it. Um, Jesus Kishwab sounds a lot like your voice. Uh, that's because that was an April Fool's Day video that we made, Joe. So, um, <laughs> the reason Schwab and I sound similar is because that particular April Fool's Day video that we made, or she made, um, yeah, it was, it was a joke video. April Fools, as we said, it was actually my voice. I sent uh, sent them the voice recording, and then they did. Um, they made the actual video out of it, which was kind of a fun project. There we go. That's what I wanted. Beautiful. Okay, I need more of these gates. Look at that. Look at that. They're all placing perfectly. Ugh. I'm gonna place these all first and then fill it in. Edmund, thank you so much for the super chat. Can you find Alpha Rexes on easy? And what about unicorns? Edmund, yes, you can. Yeah. They are a little bit more, they're a little bit rare. Um, particularly Alpha Rexes are kind of hard to find, but they do exist. I have seen them on mobile. Um, and they, they definitely do spawn. Um, on all game modes. So they do spawn on easy. I have seen them on easy. You have no idea how to play sloped roofs on mobile. Uh, Chunky, if you want to... Oh, Cassie, thank you. Evil Cuddle Bear. Nice. That's going to come in useful for raising babies. Um, yeah, so if you want to place a sloped roof, you have to place first a sloped wall. Um, so that's the tricky part. You need these, these sloped walls left and right. Um, to be able to place a proper sloped ceiling. It's a little tricky, but there's there's definitely ways to do that, and we'll actually probably be using some of those for the roof lines of these two builds today. 
Um, Aiden says, sorry, Iguana, Iguana, I gotta leave the stream. No worries, Aiden. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Steven, you were at the beach and you forgot your phone. I would be the most upset. Forgetting your phone is, like, the worst. I am so gonna use those seeds. We're gonna have a huge building. A huge garden. Um, how do you have so much amber? I wanna have that much. See, Moose, I did purchase amber on this game. Um, I... I definitely, um spend money on certain aspects of this game uh particularly the patron servers that i plan to play on for a long time and i kind of want to get like a complete collection of blueprints and really cool builds and things i do spend money with um with those and it helps to support the devs um i don't do it very often but it does happen so i did buy this amber what am i trying to get guys i'm forgetting these yeah these gateways I need, like, all of those. Okay. So once I place these gateways, um, then the trick is going to be figuring out where to place... This is the wrong way. Boop. Uh, there we go. Yeah, once I get these gateways placed, the trick is going to be figuring out where I'm going to build the actual hatchery itself. Because currently, we have um, the greenhouse here, the main, like, workshop area here... And then I actually need to branch off somewhere and build a hatchery, and I'm kind of trying to figure out what window I want to use to make that happen. I might run it over these ruins and try to place it, like, somewhere over there. I'm not sure yet. Um, there's a lot of room to place a hatchery, and I do want it connected to these buildings via a skywalk. Very specific, says Iggy, so extra with this build. Hey, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it, um, do it right and do it with effort, you know? So I'm, I'm the most working on this build. I want it to be a really cool build. I want it to look good. I want it to be something that clearly a lot of love was put into. And I want it to be functional. And that's a tall order. So we're going to do our best. And of course you have to make sure that it matches. Otherwise it's just impossible to redo everything. Alright, let's see if I can't put that correctly. And then, yeah. Yeah. Right on top of that one. That's backwards. That is the most backwards. Up, up, up. I can snap it. Hold on. There. Beautiful. That's that's exactly what I'm looking for. Thick sides in. It was just the choice I made. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so that's all of these. So, yeah, I might... I could build the hatchery back this away, like right behind the greenhouse, um, which would be a pretty obvious place to, to build it, to be perfectly honest. That would be a really easy thing to do. Um, or I could build it... Oh my gosh, it's going to be the most warm. Or I could try to figure out how to place it, like, over there. I am not 100% sure yet, guys. <laughs> Maggie says, for Arkham PC, if you could only tame one creature to defeat the game, which creature would you choose? Maggie, Arkham PC, I would probably choose a Rex. Rexes are where it's at with, uh, with regards to that kind of power. Rexes definitely have the edge in boss fights. Um... Yeah, for, if you're going for PC, you can't beat a Rex. They're just the best. Mm, there we go. Would suck for grinding, though, because utility dinos are the most useful. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. We can put that there. That's backwards. Now that I've actually figured out which way these are supposed to be facing, it's it's a whole thing. It has to be correct. Can you... Almost. There. No. That's... That's backwards. Dang it! I'm, like, messing this one up really badly. Thick side in. Thick side in. I just gotta remember that. They're supposed to look like that. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. 
Is that a private server? Uh, EG, yes, this is, um, this is a private server for sure. Okay, we're gonna get this, guys. We are gonna get this. Um, mode, so say, Iguana, how many times you got? Uh, mode, um, I'm not sure how many times I actually have versus that actually was perfect. Okay. Um, I'm not sure how many times I have versus how many times other people have at this point. I think I only have one, two, three, four, like five, six. Well, I got a few more today that people have been giving me, but originally I only had like six times. Not very many yet. Giovanni says it's been about an hour for this build. I actually, this is a long build. It's probably going to be something along the lines of 12 to 15 hours to finish this build. And that's not counting any interior stuff. That's literally just the exterior. It's a, it's a really intense build. Um, it's been, I've been building it for two streams. This is the third stream I've spent on it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Play PvP, please. Uh, Harriam, I don't have plans to play PvP. And that's for a very specific reason. PvP is incredibly time-consuming. Um, there's a reason that I don't play it, and it's not because I don't like it. It's because it's... Yeah, I keep messing that up. It's because it is literally the longest thing to record ever. It takes so much grinding and so much time. Why does that... I swear it switches every other time I do this just to mess me up. Yep, I didn't even have to flip that one, and it... Still placed wrong. Finally! Okay. These gates are, like, the worst. There we go. Nope. That's the wrong way. Um, yeah. So, PvP takes a long time. I don't have plans to do that at this point in time because I do also have a full-time day job, guys, and that does keep me pretty busy, so I don't really have time for actual PvP. As much as I would love to, as much as I know that there is a lack of good, solid PvP content out there for Arc Mobile, um, there are some that are okay, but there's, there's a real lack of content, and I would love to do it. I would love to fill that gap. It's just... The amount of time it takes to do is unreasonable for me at this point. So, it's unfortunate, but that's that's the reality of it. Okay, there we go. We got it. All the gates are in place. Now we can fill in the walls. <laughs> Bill says, you should do vault stacking base. It's good for PvP. Yes, vault stacking is fantastic for PvP. Um, that's literally vaults are the strongest structure on Ark, so that's the best way to protect your base is to do that. Edmund, thank you so much for the super chat. Is the Dunkley Osteos a good tame? Uh, Edmund, yes. Um, they're not the most useful tame in the world, but they are really good at gathering oil from underwater oil nodes. Uh, so if you are interested in that ability and you need a lot of oil for whatever reason, Dunkley Osteos is a perfectly good tame. They're also really useful for uh, daily pursuits. There are some taming daily pursuits that involve the Dunkley Osteos, so I do recommend having one on hand if you're going to have ocean creatures. Um, <laughs> what's the name of your device? Uh, Abdo, the name of my device, it's called an iPhone 8 Plus. It's the best. I love it very much. Okay, I actually have plenty of walls on me. I didn't even check. I also have lots of mushrooms. Very helpful. All the mushrooms. And we have a uh, fairy now, which is great. It's helped a lot with wood gathering. Okay, we can start filling in. I'm so excited. So excited. Let's do it. I hope these are placing correctly so as not to leave gaps. It looks like they are. Just got to make sure everything's even. That's the real goal. Don't want any weird... Yeah. Don't want any weird placements here. Okay. Alright, you're gonna go there, and you're there. <laughs> uh, Junior, please drop Willow. Nicely. There you go. Gotta go run dungeon. Good luck. 
There we go. Okay, so, so far so good. This is actually going to be a window, not a gate. Um, yeah, the second floor is only going to be accessible by walking, I think. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Should we make it a gate? The Ketzel won't fit through it either way. I'm going to have to move my Ketzel. We'll place them on this for now. Actually, I'll move them all the way over here for now. It doesn't super matter. I need to build, like, an actual airplane hanger for my Ketzel at some point. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, what level is my Griffin? Uh, the only one, I believe Pev Cerna is, he's a 158. That's my highest level Griffin at the moment. All right, I am thirsty again. No one is surprised. All right, so we have all these glass walls. So let's start filling in these windows. Beautiful. Um, we'll make that a gate. I like to be able to bring flyers in for various reasons, so it's, it's actually gonna be a gate. I was debating, I was the most debating what I wanted to do with this. It could be a window and it would look really cool, but I think it's going to be better served as a gate. Uh, Mode says your base looks cool. Thank you, man. Paradise Boy says Therese rock. They really do. The Kitzel's sad. Why is the Kitzel sad? He's going to get his own special place at some point. Harry on, what server are we playing? Uh, Harry on, we are currently playing on Toast Kingdom 2.0. It's a private server that I own. Um, all right, so I do need more greenhouse stuff. I need to make a gate. It's going to be good. It's going to be amazing, in fact. Can I... Well, we'll actually climb down properly. Look at us being so good about that instead of just falling through the hole. Apex is the most AFK on my smithy. <laughs> Reed, uh, you're back. Welcome back, man. How's it going? I'm doing fantastic today, actually. Um, Willow, thank you for the Streamlabs donation. Oh my goodness. Two things. You followed what it said to join the PC servers, PC servers, but you couldn't find the ad server button. Can you help? Um, so the ad server button is on your Steam menu, Willow. Uh, so basically, if you go to Steam's main app window, and then there's, a uh, like a view button, view servers, and it's in the bottom right hand corner when you go to your favorites tab on that menu. It's a little hard to describe. Whenever you try to buy Amber on the server, it doesn't work. When you watch ads, it does. Do you know why? Um, Willow, do you have in app purchases enabled and do you have a good internet connection? Because those are two things that will prevent you from being able to do stuff. Edmund, thank you so much for the super chat. Can you get Ascendant from Caves on Easy? Um, Edmund, I've never gotten Ascendant items from Caves on Easy. I know you can get Mastercraft, but I've never gotten Ascendant, and it's very difficult to get um, to get those. It is really hard to get um, good items on Easy games. Like, it's just... I don't know. It's tricky. It's actually one of the reasons I think that the easy game mode is one of the hardest to do dungeons on is because you can't get as good of items on the easy game. You just can't. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and place these. It's super dark, guys. I do apologize, but it'll be light here soon. And we are filling stuff in. So it's going to be, it's going to be good. All right, and then once we get this built up, we can start thinking about what kind of roof line we want to see on this particular build. Super excited. And then I think I'm actually going to try to build the hatchery off the back side of the greenhouse. We'll see how that goes. Um, I do want it connected to all of these. It would be better if it was next to the workshop, but it's fine if it's by the greenhouse. It's just going to be a little harder because the ground isn't quite as flat over there. Alright, so a few more walls, but not too, too bad. And then let's go ahead and place down these glass walls, get that started. Oh, thank you for the torchlight. 
We need longer days. I already have them set up to where the nights go twice as fast. I could make the days twice as slow just to kind of extend that. Like, the night length isn't too bad. Hi, and welcome back, Ish. How's it going? <laughs> Daniel Alexander, welcome. Chunky says, I really want to try Brutal Mode, but I probably just play on God Mode. <laughs> Chunky, yes. Uh, brutal Mode is, it's well-named. Um, I have played some Brutal Mode, and if you play with base harvest rates, like, it's so difficult to make progress, and leveling is the worst. Should build a cantilever platform for the hatch? Um, the tricky part would be connecting it to the main base, Apex. That would be really tricky. And then on top of that, I think the biggest issue with it is that it's um, it's not going to be big enough because I plan to be able to hatch, like, gigas and stuff. So it needs to be a really large building. Um, very specific. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. Have a good rest of your night. Get some good sleeps. <laughs> Sonny been getting the cough. No, that's not good. Savage, you have a 1k mute tap? That's amazing. Uh, Tapajaras are a really, really fun creature. I love playing with them. We need a bunch of these. We also need a bunch of these. That's not enough, but it's fine. Pudding. Pudding's here with gifts. Ooh, I will have to check those out, Willow. Yeah, platform's nowhere near enough for Giga. I want to be able to hatch basically anything in this hatchery. It needs to be a big hatchery. Um, and it needs to be a clean hatchery, so it's gonna have to have, like, a really interesting setup. Um, I'm still kind of trying to figure out in my head how I want it to be designed, but essentially there's gonna be, um, a really empty ground floor for the creatures, and then maybe, like, walkways and catwalks in it for, um, me to get around and to place AC units and such, uh, if that makes sense. It's gonna be a really weird strange kind of build, I think. But hopefully very functional. That's the goal. That is the goal. Oh, that was the most perfect number I could have possibly chosen for the stone walls. No! No! No, it's the most... No. Oh god, it's awful. I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't. I can't do it. It has to snap correctly. Nope. 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 Why? Why are there two snaps? Why are there two snaps here? And why won't you snap there? Oh no. Oh no. Oh well, it doesn't matter that much. I'll just destroy this side. Except then it's not the same. Yeah, why? Kind of want it on the outside snap. But then there's no outside snap there. Okay, I see. Alright, so there's only one snap point. <laughs> we'll make this work. Uh, we need new maps or dinos, even if they cost a lot of money. Um, money be, I kind of believe that's, I actually agree with you. I think that would be fine if they cost something to play. In fact, that might be the best way to get those things is to have them cost money. Okay, so I broke the wrong side of this. Because what we're going to do is build those and then break these. And snap them on the inside. So that they're even. So that the walls don't drive me insane. There we go. Close. Very close. Uh, the noise. Did I spell that right? <laughs> uh, the noise? Yes. With an S, I believe if it's noise that you were trying to spell. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, again, I kind of tempted very tempted to make this a gate um think i might i think i might we'll see how it goes pev come here 
Actually, let's look at it. Because it would look really cool as a window. But then nothing could come up there, which would be a problem. Edmund, thank you so much for the super chat, man. Why am I the only one donating? Well, maybe because you're my favorite. Aw, thank you, Edmund. That is so appreciated, man. I don't know, man. The, the donations have really slowed down lately. I feel like it's just, uh, it just happens. There's good moments and bad moments as a streamer. Uh, definitely have not been on, on the up as much lately. Thank you so much, Willow. Just so appreciated. So many useful things. Much thanks, Willow. Also, I love the pink theme. Pink and purple is good. Alright, let's uh, stash these up so that they are safe. Safe, safe items. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, we're getting a fair amount of stuff here. Alright, so... Yeah, I think that's what I wanted to do with that. Um, let's go ahead and start filling in the greenhouse. There we go. And I'm debating, guys. I am debating what I want to do with the actual um, hatchery. So if I do a hatchery, it might take a behemoth gate, but I don't think behemoth gates snap very easily. Um, Izzy says it going welcome. Just wanted to say I love your videos and keep up the great work. Thank you so much, E-Dog. That is so appreciated. <laughs> uh, aren't there two maps on mobile now? No, there's just the one. Just the island. Yeah, do I want that to be a window or a gate? I kind of just want it to be a window. Like, as much as I know a gate would be useful because I could fly in and out, like... I kind of just want this to be decorative. Behemoth place foundation and walls. First thing gate to close it off. Yeah. That's kind of the idea. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I would put that, though. So let's scout a little. So that's a nice flat area for those two structures. The three major things we need are a workshop, a greenhouse, and a hatchery. So the real issue is where do we put the hatchery, where is it going to fit, and where is it going to work um, and look good? And I think the answer is over here. Oh man, this is going to be, it might have to be a standalone. It might have to be a standalone structure, which is like the most disappointing thing. That's not what you want, but it's definitely one of the most practical things I could do because back here, the ground's just not quite flat enough for it. It's just not, it's just not flat. Um, <laughs> Put a giant hatch frame. Might do, hunt. Might do. Actually, that's that's not a bad idea. We could put a hatch frame on the roof, and that would make this... Um, I could get the Ketzels in and out without having to add a gate on the front. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Let's do that. Um, hello. Alright, so if we're going to do that, let's do this. I want to fill this in because I want it to be a window. I just do. It looks better. Whoop. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you for the turrets and the element. Oh my gosh. Big thank you, KK. The element is not cheap. I appreciate. Um. <laughs> yes, we'll put a giant hatch frame on the roofs, guys. We'll get it. We'll get it. I figured it out. Alright, so, let's see. The question is, how big are the hatch frames? Um, I'm actually not 100% sure. Let's look at the, let's see, stone hatch frame, giant stone, and then giant metal. So I need one of each, because we're going to put stone on this base and then metal on the greenhouse. Do like that. Um... So let's go make one of each of those. Doop, I cannot. It's the most difficult. We're gonna just okay. Can we use the ladder? Can we can we use there? I got it. 
Edmund, thank you so much for the super chat. You're glad to help. That is so appreciated, man. So, so appreciated. <laughs> it honestly makes a huge difference. Those donations do make a huge difference in the revenue in the channel, and every single one of them makes my job a little bit easier. So thank you, and much, much love to you. Two by two? Okay. 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 I'm thinking. So we'll place those. Um, do we have stone ceilings? Yes. Alright, we're gonna grab a few of these. Now, I think I need some sloped walls. Sloped stone walls. That's gonna be... Here, let me... Clear this out so that I can actually build some stuff. I need to make some sloped walls. That noise scares me every time. Every single time. I got some thatch, and then we need some wood. Alright, and I need to make sloped stone walls, because I do want these roofs to not be flat. Like, flat roofs are... Practical, but they're not the best looking, so I definitely don't want to make them flat. Uh, let's go with... Hold on. I need them both for greenhouse and these, because these are going to be kind of mirrored buildings, which makes my life a little easier. Perfect. Alright, let's make them. Um, let's make... Eight of each. Okay. Um, <laughs> what server are you on? I have Arc 2. Uh, Angela, I'm currently on Toast Kingdom 2.0. Midnight Studios, welcome. Uh, you're not that late, and what have you missed? Me building a lot. <laughs> Luckily, none of my buildings have fallen apart yet. No trikes have attacked, so we're in good shape so far. But uh, I have been raging about snap points a little bit, and that's more than likely to continue, so that's going to be a thing. Uh, we're also going to need a bunch of sloped stone roofs as well. Okay, and then I need to make, let's say, eight of these. Oh my gosh, that's, that's a lot. I only need like eight. Eight, there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to need a bunch of these, which will make like 40 of those and see where that gets us for now. Um, oh wow, I think I've filled up my, my whole smithy. Okay, I can do that, and then we won't be weighed down. Perfect. That's all I needed. Doop. Okay, uh, let's go see what we can do with this roof. I think the hatchery, I want it to be connected, but I think it's got to be a standalone. Oh, good rain. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure that the hatchery has to be a standalone structure and that it's going to be um, off somewhere. Unless... Yeah, what do you think, guys? Like, opinions from the chat. Do I want to do something just like absolutely insane? And the real insane thing would be to put a gate here out of this basically make a giant skywalk that ran back here and then run the skywalk over to the hatchery so it's connected and i could stay dry the whole time but it's like that's the most insane nah i don't want to do that or we could try to break that window and then somehow route that skywalk through here and then over that way. It's not like the best solution. There's really not a good place to place the hatchery. I think it has to be a standalone. I think it just has to be. Insane! <laughs> Thanks, Willow. Um, everyone wants it to be insane. Oh my goodness, you guys are mean. Okay, let's see what we can do. Um... The craziest thing would be to, let's see if we can line this up. I could turn that window into a gate and then run it over that way. 
That's insane, but it's not the most insane thing. That way it's connected. Um, it is connected. I just have to come up to the second story and then run kind of a funky, funky tunnel to it over here. Which is still an insane build. It's just not as insane. It's going to take a lot of pillars. Please play Monster Hunter World. Uh, Jane Doe, I actually should. That looks like a really fun game. Have considered playing it. Should do. Should do. Okay. Alright. Actually, why did I make these out of stone? Um... They're above windows, that's why. It'll it'll make sense if it's made out of stone. It's fine. It'll look good. Okay. So the idea being I don't even know if I can build this high. I can't. I can't build this high. I've exceeded the limit. Hmm. <laughs> But I like the way that stone looks. So if I'm gonna be clever about this, what I should do... Um, let's see. So, metal only gets me two extra tiers. But I think that's all I need for now. I think that's literally all I need for now. So let's get some metal. Yeah, I know it's eight high for stone and it's only ten high for metal. Um, I would like to make them, like, geopolymer or tech would be the best, but I don't have tech stuff yet, so tech will be a thing later. I think we're going to start with metal, and then I can make it, I can upgrade to tech later so that it looks good and supports better height. Um, hey, Guardian, how's it going? Siri, what's the weather like today? It is 73 degrees and sunny today. Um, bye Angela. Thank you so much for hanging out. Derpy Squid, can you maybe make a hatchery on one of the pieces that hang off the mountain? You can get the in-game store. I forgot the name of it. Um, yeah, yeah, the, the cantilever platform. So the main reason that I'm not using a cantilever platform is because hatcheries, like, they work best when they're huge. Um, so I need, like, a really big empty space to hatch anything, including, like, a giga. I want it to be a really big, the biggest of my buildings, and basically there's going to be nothing inside it except for air conditioning units and um, fridges and then catwalks for me to access those. So that's kind of the idea. <laughs> Sounded like the weather forecast woman's good. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed my Siri voice. <laughs> Mo, you'll be right back. All right. Edmund says, hey, not fair. What's not fair? <laughs> AP, what server are we playing on? We're playing on Toast Kingdom 2.0 at the moment. Alright, so let's see if we can do this and if it fixes our problem. We're gonna make, like, a whole bunch, because it's, it's always good to make a lot. Power Core, yes, this is a patron-only server, unfortunately. Molefits, welcome! You're Mizzen Gaming. Oh my gosh! I like the new name. I have missed you, Mizzen. It's been a long time since I've seen you, so so happy to have you here. Tim Carnos. Skyfrost, absolutely. I love Carnos. Um, I actually think I might even try to get mutations on them on this game. We'll see how it goes. Um, that's kind of the idea. Okay, so let's see if I can replace these. Um, neatly. Unfortunately, they're not pretty. Unfortunately, they are not pretty, but I think they will do what they need to do. Willow, your weight's at 377? That's, that's awesome. You could carry stuff for me. Yeah, but then I'd have to, like, tell you what to do, and it'd be a little tricky. Okay, so now I can build up, which is great. Um, problem is that these are only three wide, so it's going to be kind of a funky roof line. 
Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be a cool... This is gonna be a cool roof, guys. This is gonna be a really cool roof. I figured it out. I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm actually really excited now. Let me play with this a minute. Um, I need a regular wall. Let me, let me place the rest of these sloped ones down real quick. I think I know what I want to do. Oh, I need the metal Pfft, foundations, but... Oh, no, wait. That's going to look weird, isn't it? Because it's off one. Eh. Let me look at it from the outside. Yeah, so it's going to look weird if I do it this way because of the way the windows are placed. So I think I've got to take that stone wall off. Dang it. It's not quite as cool as I wanted, but it's okay. It'll still be cool. I'll make it look good. I have plans. I have ideas. That was a very bad time to eat, Pev. Just saying. <laughs> uh, Cat Red, how's it going? Can you play the raft? Um, Cat Red, I actually might play the raft. Um, I have heard many, many good things about that game, and it looks like fun. So, yeah. Um, we might check that out at some point. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. Uh, yep, 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 yep. This is four wide. So... Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Uh, Dawid says I love your vids. Thank you so much, Dawid. I really appreciate that. <laughs> In your opinion, what would be your max health? Uh, Midnight Studios, I normally go up to about 400 health. Um, much beyond that doesn't seem necessary unless you're playing Brutal Mode. If you're playing on Brutal Mode, I would put more points into health um, just for the dungeons because they do, the creatures hit harder, but that's about it. Um, <laughs> I know I should put the builds in my quick builds, but I don't mind entering my inventory every few seconds. It's, it's so habit at this point that it doesn't bother me. If it bothers you guys on stream, it could be a problem, but otherwise it's not the worst. Darcy, how's it going? Thank you so much for the Streamlabs donation, uh, or the super chat. <laughs> Getting them mixed up. Uh, how much longer is the stream? The stream should be going for another, like, hour and a half, actually. Um, luckily, because we need all that time to make this look good. Um, yeah. Yeah. A nice long time. Okay, can I... This is going to be the most tricky. Let's put that away for a second. And... Let's do this. Okay, just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna look at this real quick. So it's not a flat roof. Yeah, it's not gonna be a flat roof. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but the center is gonna be flat unless I do something interesting here. Which could be kind of cool. But it does make it harder to put a hatch frame on here. So that's kind of the, the toss up here. If I'm going to place a hatch frame, it is going to make this whole roof line a little bit more difficult since it is like a two by two square. It makes sense to put that dead center. Um, but that's not the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. Choices. Um... I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. But I can't really make this crenellation go out anymore. Like, those have to be right there. They have to be. Okay. I think I'm figuring it out. It's just a, it's just a slow process. I have to really think about these builds, because the roof lines are always tricky. Always tricky. Almost. There we go. Uh, Jacqueline, you're lagging, you'll be back? Alright, sounds good. See you in a minute. I just love how Zek is passed out in the middle of my base. It's amazing. Um, 
Do I accept the challenge? What's the challenge? I don't accept a challenge until I know what it is. <laughs> Mr. Baseball, my favorite color is a very specific shade of dark green. Um, I got a question. Where can you tame a Rex? I can't find one yet. Angela, Rexes are usually found on mountains. That's the easiest place to find them, in my opinion. In my opinion. So we're actually going to... This might be too many. Yeah, this is too many. I won't be able to move. Let's do this. Can I... Is that full? No. I messed up. No, we're still too full. Okay. Uh, options. Let's, let's do this. And then we can... Do that. And those are only four kilograms. So that's not... There. It's not the worst. So I'm just going to ring the base with metal for now, which isn't my favorite thing to do, but um, it will make this whole build a little bit easier. I do like the look of stone way, way more, so I'm not going to actually change the um, interior of the build. I'm just going to do this stone here. Just going to do the metal for the support. There we go. So we have like a ring of metal around the whole thing, which is not the worst. Um, yeah, that way we can actually do the roof line the way I'm looking at it. Okay. We'll make it happen. Make it happen. There we go. Can I... Huh. Problems. I know. I have too many building pieces, game. I get it. I understand your problems and frustrations with me. But it's fine. Because we got stuff to do. We're a little slow, but it's fine. Uh, Panda IQ says, we can enter your server. Um, so this is a patron-only server. If you would like to join the server, you can become a Patreon. Uh, or a patron via the Patreon website, which is linked in the stream description down below the stream. Um, if you are not interested in that, I do have free servers that people are more than welcome to join and play. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do here. That's not what I meant to do at all. Okay, this. I cannot place that because I am too short. All right. Let's see. This is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh no, is this not? One, two. Yeah, this should fit dead center. Yeah? Oh my gosh. I'm like, I cannot see this super well because of the fog. No, I'm too far away. Come on, Pep. We need to get a little closer. Let's get right up here. <laughs> We're trying to figure out this roof line, and it's it's the most painful thing. This is not going to be the prettiest roof, because I am going to make it practical. Because I do think that it's a good idea to have these hatch frames in place so that I can get flyers in and out of this story. Um, that's just a good idea. So, we are going to do that. Can you snap, please? Oh my gosh, game. Make sure that's facing the correct way. I think it is. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, now, unfortunately, that means that most of the roof is flat, which is not exactly what I wanted, unfortunately. But we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. All right, and now I can place all of these, which is perfect. And then we'll run hit that one. Roof lines are the trickiest part of these builds, I swear, guys. They, they are so difficult sometimes to get the way you want them to look. If you don't want a flat roof, these are most painful. I 
I'm confused. Did somebody hit a button? Was that just literally all fog that... I I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, world. hello, welcome, how's it going? What's my favorite station from the in-game store and why? The chef station, because making kibble is a pain in the butt, and the chef station makes that so much easier, honestly. Uh, it's actually also very cheap, so I love having chef stations. It's one of the few things that I actually grab consistently. Apex, thank you so much for cleaning the smithy. I know you're just avoiding your homework, but thank you anyway. <laughs> it's appreciated. Uh, okay, so let's see if I can place these properly. Yeah, okay, so there are snaps for these now, which is good. Alright, so we have our hatch frame, um, which we will eventually get figured out. Unfortunately, that does mean that the roof line is flat. So it's going to be, it's a lot of flat space in the center, but you know what, it's, it's good. At least it's got some height and definition to it, which is all I really need. Um, and it's going to be the same thing over here, but obviously all made out of glass and metal, which is going to be cool. This roof, I do want some skylights on, so that's going to be, that's going to be a thing. Can we not land on those because it's too small? I think we can't. Uh, let's try to fill this in just a little. Alright, let's place those. There we go. Alright, so this has to go here. The hatch frame needs to be surrounded by stone. It makes sense. Am I tall enough? Yeah, barely. Just barely. To be right underneath it. And it doesn't like that snap at all. Uh. Uh. Nope. Alright. It's okay, we're close. Um, Unknown Gamer, how's it going? Uh, can you join the server? You do have to be a Patreon to join this particular server, but I do have some free ones if you are interested in joining one of my servers. Okay, that's, uh, that's a good start. Back up here. So I don't actually want an easy way to get on and off of the roof, which is going to be a trick. There we go. All right, um, let's make these solid. No, I'm out of stuff, great, okay. Make this happen. And place this side, can we do it? Can we do it? We can do it, I believe, I believe. All right, so that looks good. Um, let's do this side. Alright, so we need more slope stone roofs, which we've got a pretty good start on, and then I need more actual stone ceilings, and then I'm actually going to use some greenhouse ceilings, because I love to make skylights. So we're going to make some skylights on this roof so that we get a lot of natural light coming into this particular build. Um, yo, Mark, how's it going? What's up, Mark? How are ya? There we go. Okay. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, Kelly says, do you have to start all over like levels and games while playing multiplayer? I only play single player and I'm only level 79. Um, yes, Kelly, you do have to start over when you play on multiplayer, but it's not that bad, especially if you tribe up with people, you can get levels pretty quickly. Can you craft soothing bombs? Uh, Shannon, no, you cannot. You have to purchase soothing bombs. So soothing bombs are their own thing right here and right here. Um, I usually get my soothing bombs for free from the game because if you run enough caves and tribute the artifacts, you can get 10x soothing bombs for free, like for absolutely nothing. So I usually do that unless I'm taming a griffin. If I'm taming a griffin, I do shell out 50. 40 amber for these major bombs because they make griffin taming much less painful. Much less painful. Pride the Beast, what's up? How's it going? Alright, so that's that. Let's go ahead and grab uh, some more of these. I need more than eight. There, that's plenty. And then I need 
some of these. We'll do this part first. We'll do the center first, and then we'll worry about the... Oh, I'm the most way down. Then we'll worry about the rest of it later. We probably don't need that many ceilings yet. Why? You know what? Metal hatch frame. There you go. It's fine. It's good. Close enough. I just need to be able to get around and onto my griffin. That's the only thing that matters. This is going to be beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm actually so excited to have this building be quote-unquote complete, um, at least for now. It's nowhere near finished, but it is a heck of a lot closer than it was. Uh, I already put it on my hopper. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful, guys. It's coming together. The build is finally coming together. It's going to be one of the better, more interesting builds I've done, I think. Um, and then we're going to do this. And then we're going to have a skylight here, kind of mirroring the hatch frame, which will be lovely. Look at that. So we'll have one hatch frame and one skylight. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's going to be... It's going to be pretty, I think. Um, and then I actually want to build this um, a little bit more. Oh no, do I have to do it? Is it going to make me? Is it going to be awful? It's going to be awful. I can't do it. I have to make the entire base metal. <gasps> I hate life. I can't do it. It's too... It won't let me. It won't let me. I'm the most upset right now. I hate metal foundations. It's going to look so bad. Oh, I hate, hate metal foundations. I am, I tell you what, guys. I am going to convert it into tech as soon as I can. Even the geopolymer foundations are better than the metal foundations. I'm not even going to lie, but I can't make geopoly yet, so it's it's the absolute worst. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Kibani, I do remember you. How's it going? Welcome. How are you? Parker, you tamed a griffin with a 10x bomb, but you should have used a 15. Yep, they are so much better. Get geopoly. I, I need to get Geopoly. I don't think I can make it yet. And you need a you need a chemistry bench to make it. Um, let me see. Because I don't think it's an actual Ingram. It's not. It's not an actual Ingram. But you do need um, the cooking... The cooker? Yeah. You need the industrial cooker, I think, to make it. Because you have to make the Geopoly cement in the cooker. I believe. The mats I can craft. Um, I do not even remember what mats it needs. Grind Swamp Cave so we can get dust. Oh, yeah, because it needs dust, too. Oh. Oh. <sighs> We're going to have to convert the whole base to metal, and I'm so upset. At least the walls get to stay stone. I need, like, 25 cookers. Uh, yeah, you just have to repair them, Apex. You can you can make it in the same one. You just have to repair it a lot. Well, let me let me do it. Um, it's it's absolutely needed to to make the roof line that I want to make, which I think is needed. Um, I have to convert this into metal, which does suck, but it's not the worst thing because all of the outside stuff um, gets to stay stone. Um, and I can put hedges along the outside, which is part of the plan anyway, is to make this look nice. So I can put hedges on the outside to hide it. And then the only problem will be inside trying to make the metal less terrible looking, which is not the easiest thing. Could I? I can't. I wish I could place ceilings over it like that. I wish you could lay a ceiling over a foundation, just like even a little, so that I didn't have to look at the metal. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, <laughs> uh, it's the worst. It's the worst. Griel, how's it going? How are you? 
Uh, are you gonna do any dungeons today? Love your dungeon streams. Uh, no dungeons today. I am not prepared for them. I haven't run hardly any caves on this. I've been so focused on this base build that I haven't done hardly anything else other than tame these griffins. Uh, Willow, I did miss a donation two minutes ago. Um, is there any way you can help me build? Also, can I be your lighting person? If so, can I go on the passenger of your griff to help? I don't gotta do the griff thing. Uh, Willow, yeah, you can be on passenger of my griff. That's fine. Um... And you can be my lighting person. I don't need it during the day, just at night when it's hard to see. So I need to make so many more metal foundations, and it's the worst. I cannot wait to convert these all into something that looks better. I'm going to make them all tech. That's... I'm just going to go straight to tech. That's... that's the thing. Once we get, um, dungeons going, I am going to convert every single one of these foundations into a tech foundation. And it's going to look way better. Because the tech foundations look nice, and I like them. And I hate them a lot less than I hate these metal ones. Because they're not shiny. And just nasty looking. I don't even like the way they sound. I don't even like the way the metal foundations sound. I'm so salty over it. Come see. Cece, where are you? I'm like the most... Oh, there you are. I'm like the most stuck in my base. Um... What do you got? Oh, it's a bright pink raptor. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck on everything. Let's go around the dodic. There we go. Let's be smarter, smarter than the pillars. This is gorgeous. Look at this. It's pink. Oh no, it's purple. It looks pink in the light. This is the most purple raptor I've ever seen in my life. And it's beautiful, guys. Uh, is that Georgia? Weber says, hi, OMG, love your videos, huge fan. Thank you so much. I really am glad that you love the videos. The Blues, what are some tips and dungeons that can help out? The Blues, um, tips and dungeons. So it's really about individual room strategy in the dungeons, the Blues. Each room has a different strategy that's going to work best. If you have dimorphs, you need to stand in the corner with a sword and hit them as they come at you. Um, if you have a room that's theories, you need to run around the room constantly to avoid getting hit and then turn around and shoot at each end. Like there's, there's very specific strategies you use for certain rooms. Most of the time, all you have to do is just tank some hits while you shoot things to death. That's pretty easy. How do you get tech foundations? Laser world. Um, there's a couple of ways. So what I could do, and this is a little cheaty and I don't think I want to do this, um... The easy way to get them, but it does cost a lot of amber, is to go into the in-game store, click on dungeon items, and then you can buy the tech blueprint bundle, which comes with all of the tech blueprints that you could ever want, including the light, including those tech foundations, um, which is what I want is those tech foundations, because they look the best. Um... Yeah, where are they? I think it's, like, right there. So, Tech Foundation is a blueprint. It's, like, the fourth one down right there. I could get that. It's 175 amber. It's not the worst. Uh, what's more expensive is the element itself. So, you can buy the element, and you can use the bot element to make a base. But it's 100 amber for 300 element, and each foundation costs 5 element to craft. So... Let me, let me do some quick math in my head. That's, what, 50 foundations? It's not very many. It's a lot of amber to spend just for this, and I don't think I want to do that. I think I would rather grind dungeons for the element and all of that. I don't like to spend money unless it's something I can't get in the game any other way. For example, I spend money on things like the skins, um... The implant graphs, I think those are the best thing to spend amber on. I do spend money to get the, um, like the, what is it, the ultimacy skin, which is a useful skin as well as beautiful, and it costs 300 amber, so it's worth doing 300 amber for that, but I'm not going to spend it on element when I don't have to. Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be dungeon time. If this week's dungeon is easy, it's a mass grind. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully it is. I need to run caves first and get gear. Because I don't have gear. Um, and I need to get my greenhouse set up. So I need to finish the build. And then once I get the build settled, we can worry about that later. 
I'm gonna put these away for now because I need all of the metal foundations. Um, yeah, so that's, I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding in the next couple of weeks, but it's fine. It's what, uh, that's what Ark is all about, and at least dungeons are a fun grind, in my opinion, if you get the good dungeon. This one's not too bad for speedrunning, but I don't think I'll be ready to run this dungeon. Probably next week's, not before. Need to make sure I'm replacing the right ones. There we go. Yeah, because the tech floor would look great. The tech floor would look beautiful, in fact, and it wouldn't be as ugly as this metal. When am I going to start breeding griffs? As soon as I get the hatchery done. And the hatchery is going to be a whole different issue. Alright, I'm going to have to do this in the greenhouse as well. Which is why I'm making even more of these foundations. And I'm probably going to do the same thing in my hatchery. So that'll be a process. I am going to leave the walkways as stone because I think it looks better. I love the idea of this like stone walkway. I think it's going to look amazing. Um, especially for, like, looking out over the garden. I am the most stuck on this. There. This is a little close to the door. <laughs> I'm gonna move those boxes and reorganize storage at some point. Okay, uh, so now that I've got these all replaced, let's go ahead and grab our ceilings and finish this, um, finish this. Yeah. That's, that's all I really need to do left is make these. Uh, I need... More sloped stone ceilings. I have regular ones. Do I not have any? I don't think I have any sloped stone ceilings. Let's change that. Let's do the most changing of that problem. Nope, crafting. Oh my gosh. I'll get it eventually, guys. Someday I'll I'll be good at this. <laughs> grab all that stone. Uh, let's make all of these. Let's do it. Nacho. <laughs> Joke, please no hurt me, nerd. You are begging to be hurt, for real. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Diego, welcome. How's it going? That dire bear color, you love it, right? It's so beautiful. It was actually a gift. Um, the Dire Bear was a gift from KK and Junior, who are another tribe on this server, and it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, um, I need even more stone. I need so many of these slope stone ceilings for now. This should do it. Once I get these made, I should be good, because I have the greenhouse ones that I need. Uh, can I play the raft? Uh, Cat Red. So, yes, I already said that that does look like a fun one. Um, and I might do that. Marks is what happened last time. Somebody hit a trike and it destroyed half of my build. <laughs> and it was horrible. It was the worst. Do it, Egg. Put your stress out by crushing Nacho. We could do that. Alpecia, welcome. How's it going? Uh, Milan, hello. Uh, and is that Santosh? Welcome, or Santosh? Welcome. I'm not sure which way you say that, but welcome, welcome. Super happy to have you guys here today. Hope everybody's having a great day. Are we the most way down? We are the most way down. It's fine. I'm just gonna drop, like, four of these. We don't need that many roofs anyway. That. Ah, hi. Hello, hello. Ah. It's crazy, at least moving his temp. Yep. Poor CC. Crazy life, no time for anything. Ugh, yeah, CC, I feel you on that. Any other stone stuff? Um, can you make me the gate, the stone hatch frame gate, and then uh, the metal one as well, Apex? That would help muchly. I did the wrong thing. I needed to be up there on the roof. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst, and I need my griffin. I need my griffin. Gamer Life, thank you so, so much. Uh, so, so much for the donation. It says, you're awesome. Love you. Thank you so much, Gamer Life. That is so appreciated, man. Do appreciate the, the super chat and the support, man. Having you here is amazing. Okay, I can get it. There we go. 
Big Wilder Beast, how's it going? Willow, um, Iggy Blue, come check out my small yet colorful base. Um, potentially, Willow, I am a little focused on getting this build somewhat closer to finished, because it's, it's got a ways to go. Um, but yeah, definitely, if not on stream, then after stream, I'll pop by and look at it. I think I saw that it was coming along and looked pretty cute. Uh, we're so slow. Okay. But it's fine. So, I'm kind of thinking, because this would look cool, is to have skylights. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see if this is going to look good and work. That's the real trick. Let's see, and then I would need one there. No, this isn't going to work. Um, okay, can I pick you up still? Okay, that's one. I can't do every other one, so let me see if I can do two. Alright, perfect. Uh, this will work. It's a little interesting, because it's a little bit off from this. Actually, let's, let's line it up. Why not? Oh, I forgot that was going to break everything because I'm the worst and I should have just replaced it. Oh my god. Okay. I'll figure it all out eventually, guys. You lose so many mats trying to work out these builds, really. <laughs> it's it's a problem. Um, okay. One of these days I'll get better at this. I hate the glass breaking noise, too. It makes me sad. Alright, and then this is going to be stone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now the real question is, um, do I want this side to be glass as well? I think I do. Sometimes I like to, I think it would be cool to just have this be all stone, but I think I like the idea of making it a glass one, just to give a little bit more light. It doesn't it's not a lot, but, you know, it's, it's an aesthetic. We go with it. Okay, this one needs to be stone. These need to be glass. I need more. Thought I wasn't going to need this many. I was very wrong. Okay, and that's one half of the build. Beautiful. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I think that looks great. You gotta have an interesting roof line. Otherwise, why bother with the build? Um, alright, let's place these. Yeah, I know. I see. I see you, game. I see what you're doing. You're trying to mess with my brain, and it's fine. You don't like my snaps. I get it. There we go. There we go. Got it. Come on. Okay. Uh, let's go up here and do these two. Okay. Got this. Got this. And there. All right. I think we've got it. Sorry, chat. I'm like the most focused. <laughs> Potato. Uh, I don't think I can teach you that, sadly enough. You have a question, AJ. Uh, is there an Argentavis in Red Peak? Uh, yes, Argies do spawn on Red Peak. They do. Yegis, welcome. How's it going? Um, <laughs> Simos, what's your favorite map? Uh, my favorite map is probably Aberration. It's it's just beautiful, you know? I don't know. Aberration is by far far my favorite and I think it might be the bioluminescence I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think the most love was put into the aberration map um and the aberration DLC in particular so I actually really like aberration as a DLC I think it's my favorite of them all right so now I just need three more three more glass uh slope ceilings and this frame and this building is officially complete 
Look at it. It is magnificent. It's actually beautiful. Alright, let's do this. Yep, except for this floor, which is the worst, but it's okay. I'm gonna replace it all. It's all gonna be fixed. Oh, you're the best. Okay, let's grab that, and then three of these, and this build is done. And we're gonna, we'll do a little tour of it before we finish up the greenhouse. And then we're gonna do basically the same thing on the greenhouse, so we need to put in all of the walls and etc. Um, it's gonna look very, very similar, except there won't be any stone and skylights and stuff. It'll be all greenhouse. So... It'll be great. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. This build has been such a long time coming. Um, can I? I think I would rather have this placed the other way. I think I placed this not the way I wanted to. Yeah. Not ideal. Can I? What do you mean it's obstructed? What? You're not. I promise you're not obstructed. No. No, no, no. Oh, well. What skylight's not lined up? Whoa, 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 wait. Apex. What? What? Oh, they're not lined up on the... I get you. They're not lined up with the windows on the side. No, that's true. They're not. Yeah, they're not lined up with those windows. You know what? I can replace those. I'll make it stone. It'll look better. I'll just make them stone, and that way you won't see from looking at the side, because um, they're lined up on the roof. They're just not lined up inside. Man, all the little things you have to adjust when you think you're done, because you messed, like, one thing up. Okay, and then I hate having metal foundations. It's the actual worst. Can I look at the... Thank you. Yeah, that's gonna... That'll drive me crazy. I'll fix it. So we're just gonna have skylights on the... These sides. Because this is plenty for this whole area. It's beautiful, though. Look at all these windows. I think it looks great. Other than that, I think it looks amazing. Yeah, I'm going to replace those with stone. Um, do I have the stone on me, actually? I do. Okay, so I need to go back outside and do that, but, um, yeah, then we'll be good. Mm, 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 mm. Can I fall? I'd like to just fall today. Falling is, is so much better than climbing. I promise. I promise, game. No, it's the, it doesn't believe me. Everyone's just saying hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the spammed highs. Oh, my goodness. Silent Black Fox, you've returned. Have you missed much? Um, me getting a little frustrated with my build, but otherwise, no. It's uh, It's been pretty good. I have been... so busy with this build. I actually have just enough sloped uh, stone ceilings to finish this, and it's actually the best if I do them right. Um, let's actually go ahead and swap these out. There. I hate that sound. I hate it. It's the worst. It's so bright. Um, bright? I guess it's a bright sound? I don't know. It's like shh. Thrill. Ugh. Okay. Nails on a chalkboard, that sound. Alright. So, now we'll go see how it looks inside, but... I bet that looks better from... Yeah, that looks way better on the outside, for sure. And it still gives me a lot of skylights. I think that's better. I think that's better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If it says, was what I meant, you got it. Yeah. Yeah, it still looks really good. It still looks really, really good. Kind of sneaky skylights. I like them. Um, 
Reji says hi, Iggy miss you so much. I'm so glad that you're here, Reji. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. Uh, this has been fun so far. Anthony says you're good at building. Anthony, I it's been a hard road. I am not a naturally inclined builder. Um, I definitely struggle with interiors still, but that's the next step in my building process. Uh, so we'll get there. But I have worked so hard on this design. I really, really thought it out before I even started putting foundations down. And uh, no, don't punch the wall. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> and I've been working on it um, pretty extensively since then. I've been really trying to make this build look cool and have it be a beautiful build as well as a practical one. So that's hopefully that comes across and uh, that it does look good. I like it. I think it's great. Um, I'm very, very happy with this. Let's go ahead and keep working on the greenhouse now that that's finished, quote unquote, finished finished and it's amazing and I love it look how much space we have we can put a full-on bedroom up here which I think we're gonna do we're gonna make it nice we're gonna make it really nice cannot wait to get rid of these foundations guys it's gonna be a whole thing that's gonna be a big grind all right so first we need to um get all the metal foundations let's put these away can we walk oh we can kind of walk Oh, we are the most slow, but it's fine. Yep. There we go. Got through. So much more space for activities. Yes, we could do yoga upstairs. It'll be great. AP9 says, I love you, Agana. Best Arc YouTuber, 100%. Thank you so much, AP9. I really appreciate it. Ashlyn, I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm a little frustrated with this build, but I'm so excited that it's close to being quote unquote done. Um, yeah, it's, oh my gosh, it's been such a trip trying to get this thing remotely finished. Unfortunately, we have to make the whole thing metal foundations, which is huge. This one's actually bigger than the other building too, which is a problem. But I wanted this to be stone so badly because it looks so much better. I wish you could just go a little higher with the stone. I would never build in metal if I had a choice. Metal is the worst. It looks terrible. It's shiny. I hate it. It's too warm. It's like actually insulates heat a little too well. Makes you more sensitive to temperature changes. So I'm gonna have to have all the AC units everywhere. And I need more. Um, this is not enough foundations. This is a massive build. This greenhouse is huge. And that's kind of on purpose. This greenhouse is going to be a two-tier greenhouse. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it other than maybe do two of these. We'll see how it goes. Um, I might just have a ton of plants. That literally might be the plan. <laughs> Metal painted in the right patterns can look quite nice, though. Yes, too shiny. Yeah, it's way too shiny. It needs to be a, like a matte color. It's, it's not as pretty as stone. Stone looks better. Like, look at this. It's hideous. Like, what is this patch? And this weirdness and this uneven and the sound it makes like uh i just don't like it uh, i'm so picky i really don't like it uh okay well let's go ahead and make some more of these that is not what i wanted let's make like 40 of those and in the meantime let's go place a bunch of greenhouse walls because we still need to do all of the walls for the upper floor. Uh, that is a thing. Nope, 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 we got it. But this is why I have it like this, so that it's all connected. I love my skywalks. I think they're amazing. Look out and see the world. It's beautiful. Alright, let's start placing these down. A 
I want to get the first layer done and then just build up from there so that I know everything is snapped correctly. Without falling off the edge, because that would be not good. Yeah. Beautiful. We're going to need a lot more greenhouse walls, too. This whole building is made of glass. And it freaks me out. Actually makes me nervous. Alright, we haven't even gotten to the hatchery yet. This is just the greenhouse, guys. I'm gonna level to 100 just from making all these structures. It's actually insane. Like, all of my levels right now come from building. <laughs> it's just a little sad. Um... Vindalicia says, do you have merch? I do. There's actually a link um, down below the stream if you are interested in getting some. It's really cute merch. It's the little channel, like, banner iguana thing that I have. Um, got some other merch kind of in the works still, so that's going to be the thing. Um, but yes, I do have some merch, and it is it is really cool. I actually love my, my hoodie. I do have one of my own hoodies because I'm like that, and... They're actually really nice hoodies. I'm not even going to lie. It's my favorite hoodie just because it's, like, the perfect, like, I don't know. It's thin but warm. It's it's really nice. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you, Apex, for making those. Uh, let's go ahead and take these. Finish off that. And then we'll... Um, Head upstairs and do some of those. We're a little slow, but it's fine. Potatoes! Potatoes. Potatoes, Willow. Potatoes. Karen, what did you miss? Um, me getting really salty because I have to convert my builds to metal, and it's the worst thing in the world, and it's so shiny, and I hate it. I wanted it to be stone so badly. Like, really, really badly, I wanted this to be stone. And I just, I'm not going to be able to do that until I can switch it out for Geopoly or Tech, which I think Tech is the way to go, because it looks nice and it's cool. Um, I have to build it out of metal so that I can make the roof look the way I want it to, and it's, it's just the most painful, disgusting thing you've ever seen in your life. Perfect. Okay, so that's that. Ugh, it's metal and I hate it. I mean, I know it fits, but I just, I wish it was stone. Do I sell pants? I don't think I do, unfortunately. That would be really cool, to have some Iguana Gaming pants. Um, I would love them. I do not have them. I'll see if I can make some. I don't know if that's an option on the site that I use for my merch yet. This is literally eight walls high of just glass, and I'm terrified that it's all going to shatter on me at any given moment, and I am the most afraid. <laughs> Look at everyone screaming potatoes. Savo roots, there you go. They're not potatoes, they're savo roots. It's actually the worst. Oh, I can fall through that hatch, can I? Thanks, game. Doesn't let me fall through the stone one, but it lets me fall through the, the other one. See, stone looks so much better. Ugh, the metal, it bothers me. Stop jumping up. I'm trying to grab a thing. There we go. I got it. Alright, we gotta get all these walls in place so we can do this. <laughs> Roshan says, sad life. What's sad? I'm starving as always. Oh, I am. I thought you meant IRL, because I'm actually hungry, and it, like, threw me off for a second. But no, it's in-game. Oh god, the glare. Please no, Metal, please no. Soon as I can replace this, I'm going to, guys. It's gonna be a thing. It's just gotta be. I can't, I can't stand the glare of the Metal. Cover it all up. I'll just put rugs everywhere in the meantime. 
The dungeon run should give me a few rugs, so we'll just plaster the floor with rugs and then I won't have to look at it and its hideousness. Okay. Get in there. It's so many walls. Okay, almost, almost. There we go. What did I eat today? Two granola bars spaced out and coffee. I didn't really eat today, Mark. I kind of forgot I was doing other things and then I just, I'm, yeah, now I'm actually hungry. Um, <laughs> Kiki Crockett says it's true, I hate metal, right? What am I building? Um, so MGMG, I am building the most massive greenhouse you've ever seen in your life, hopefully. That's the, that's the goal. I'm actually building um, a super connected structure that is my whole base. It's a, a workshop, a living area, a greenhouse, and then eventually a hatchery, but the hatchery is like a ways down the line. Um, yeah, I'm building everything. Oh, now I can fall. So I will show you an outside view once I get more of these walls placed. I need more walls, by the way. Uh, 50 is not going to do it. Oh, I'm the most way down. Too many. All right, let's put that away. Can I? No, that's the most slow. Okay. Too easy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they called this week's dungeon brutal, KK. It's actually the easiest thing ever. There we go. We'll take 40 walls. That's a little better. We're not quite as weighed down. Ugh. We are working on getting 400 health. Once we get 400 health and 400 weight, I think we're pretty good. Oh god, the shine. I hate it. I can't look at it. It's actually the worst. It's terrible. Mm, it's terrible. All right. <sighs> All right, let's uh, equip these on the hop bar. There we go. <laughs> Plays the shiny song for Moana. For real, though. That's exactly what this is like. Uh, are Ichthys worth taming? AP9, yes. Um, Ichthy Ichthyosaurus are really fun, actually. Um, they're super, super fast. If you're looking for something to scout for tames, um, you can't beat an Ichthy. Also, you can pull out weapons on the back of them, so Ichthys are ideal for taming things like Moses without getting, uh, like, destroyed, because you can pull out a weapon and swim away. You're faster than the Moza, just don't get hit. Um, and they're actually really, really good for that, because they're so fast. You can go around the island in seconds if you, uh, if you level up a little bit of speed on those guys. They are awesome, actually. Okay, I need so many more walls. We're almost there. And then I can start building the interior. How's it going, Zek? This is what 30 crate crystal can make. I'm not even done yet. This isn't even the hatchery. Wait till I'm done with the hatchery. Because the hatchery is going to be beautiful and functional as well. Uh, the hatchery, it's basically a big empty building, but it's got to still look good, so... It's going to be a thing. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it though. It is the most hot in here now because of all of this metal. <laughs> My dog is being a goofball in the background. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> can you place storage boxes in dungeons? No, Rufel, you can't. You can't place anything. How long have I been working on this base? Parker, I've been working on this base for probably a grand total of around I would say 12 hours total, so three streams and then a little bit of time off stream. That does not count the grinding time for the mats, um, which I actually have had a lot of people help me with grinding out the mats, so it's not been as bad. But um, yeah, it's, it's an insane build. It's an actually insane build. The number... The number of actual, like, crystal that has gone into this is... I mean, look at it. It's... It's... 
bewilderingly large. Um, there's just so much glass here and metal. Alright, let's grab these. Alright, we got all these. And I need more, but that's why I crafted them. I didn't need 62, but I will need them for the other part anyway, so it's fine. Okay, we're thirsty. Beautiful. We're getting there. It's a project. It is a heck of a project. I'm really glad I'm doing it, though, because it's, it's actually going to be a nice build. Dogs are supposed to be goofballs. That's why we love them. Yes, that's true. I felt kind of bad. My uh, Natsu was a little, like, out of it today. I don't know what was up with him. I don't think he felt very well. But he he's the one being goofy right now, and I'm just glad he's feeling better than he was. I was a little worried. I didn't think he was too happy today for whatever reason. All right, so now we can start building the actual roof line. Um, it is the most dark now. Okay, 400 element, laughs and needs more. I need literally so much element to make these tech things. It's gonna be such a grind. Uh, it's okay though, that's why we play Ark, because we like grind. There we go. Bam. Uh, need a tech gen. Oh, I'm gonna need a tech gen so badly. Hopefully that's there. I might buy the blueprint set just so that I don't have to worry about waiting too long because I hate the metal. I do. I hate it. It's the worst. Okay. Now, actually, a lot of this, uh, a lot of the ceiling is going to be kind of boring because there's not going to be any stone. It's all metal. Um, all right. Let's grab, let's put away the walls. Thank you for the light. Let's put away these walls and grab more ceilings. Not, no, I need those. Uh, not these. There we go. Okay, so I need these, and I need these, and I need these. And now I'm weighed down, and it's beautiful. All right, let's grab Pev. We need Pev. Can I sing today? I can only sing the one song, Willow, because I don't need, not need, I don't know what songs are copyright free, and I don't want to get my channel removed for breaking a copyright law. What's the password for the server? Um, Griff, I cannot release the password for the server. It is a patron-only server. Oh, no, we're too slow. Pev, what are you holding? Trash. Literal trash. There we go. That's a little better. The pelt is heavy. But it's mostly me. Mostly me being heavy. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Bewilder Beast says, how is the server not getting laggy due to the gigantic building? Bewilder Beast, this is actually a very small build. Believe it or not. It's, it's not the biggest. I have had larger builds, for sure. Eh. Eh. We're so slow. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. I need to place these. At least I know what this build is going to look like, so that's making this process a little easier. Or not. Or not. Or just or just don't. Sure, game. Whatever. It like the most does not want to place that. Uh there we go. Let's place these. Eh, eh, I can't, can't jump. I can't reach. There. There we go. Okay, so now I should actually be able to stand up there, which is, that's honestly what I need. Um, let's grab these. And this one. Let's get these little rises set up so that they look good. It looks way better on the stone building. 
It just does, but that's okay. This is going to be a practical structure because it's a greenhouse, and that's the whole point. Bam. Okay. All right, Pev, let's go up. Okay. Now I can do this. All right. You can do it, game. I believe your snaps will work if I aim correctly. Eh, there you go. Okay, let's get this side kind of done. Am I going to be short one? No. Perfect. Okay. Beautiful. So that's that. Um, and then I'm going to need to get the hatch frame in here, but that's going to be centered again. So that's totally fine. Let's place that. Give myself a little bit more walkway area here. Looks good. Looks good. Oh my gosh. It's going to be... This is actually going to be the most insane looking building. You can't see it because it's too dark right now, but it's fine. We'll get it in a minute. Oh, good. It's raining. Did it stop raining? It said I quenched my thirst water full and then it... There we go. Weird. Took a second for my canteen to figure it out, but we got it. Good lord. Um... <laughs> Scott says you could do it. Thank you so much, Scott. Uh, Scott Tassel says, what is this? Mobile Arc is gross. Um, that's a matter of opinion, man. I like it. I think Arc Mobile is actually more well-developed in some ways than the PC game. Unpopular opinions. Let's go. Uh, but if you don't like it, um, that's totally fine, man. I, I understand why you think PC would be superior, and it is in some ways. Just not all of them. All right, let's grab, like, 19 more of these. Uh, I should have just slid that. That would have been faster, but it's fine. Okay, while those craft, let's go finish these up. Do all the slow ones. What about after stream, Willow? Uh, okay, let's go this way. Um... <laughs> Rag says, what's Iguana's real name? Uh, my real name is Iguana. I... That's what you can call me. I don't have any plans to reveal my name, actually. It's it's private information. I value my privacy, and I just don't want, uh, don't want that to be an issue. So I have no plans to reveal my real name. Ever, sadly. We'll do a face reveal um, when the time comes, which should be this summer. All right, let's grab these. Okay, almost. All right, so now we can put the hatch frame in. The real question is, do I want it that way? I think the answer is yes. Yes, it is, because... That opens up that way. I need to fix the one on the other building. It, uh, placed wrong. And I don't know why these don't close. It actually, like, obstructs itself. It drives me insane. They auto-close, but they, like, won't close, close. I don't know. It's annoying, but there you go. Alright, so now all we need is the sloped ones. Um, we're actually, like, walling the Ketzel in as well, which is, it's fine. They fit through those, right? They fit through the giant hatch frames. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and craft one of those hatch frames because I remembered. There we go. 20 of those. Let's go ahead and place these back. I don't need those at the moment. We are almost done 
with the majority of this build, or at least the workshop greenhouse part of it. So excited, guys. Do I have a pet IRL? Yes, um, I have several. I have two two beautiful dogs right now. Um, Kopi and Natsu, they are adorable. I do also have a horse. He does not live with me, though. He stays with a family member. Oh, that was close. Um, and then I do, I used to have an iguana, um, a blue iguana, which I'm planning on getting another one at some point, but mine did die in December, so not too terribly long ago, and it was pretty sad, so I've been kind of holding off getting a new one, um, for the time being. Bam, let's get these done. get these. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is complete. Guys, we've done it. All right. So for now, for the time being, these are essentially a finished unit. Um, I still need to do a lot of, oh my gosh, tree, please. You are ruining the view. Let me just there. So you guys can actually see it. Yeah, so for the time being, this is a finished building. Um, I'm going to expand on this at some point, somehow. <laughs> uh, side fact, Dino getting out, you wonder. A Lego, I have a hatch frame on it, so it will, it should fit through that. But yeah, this is, uh, this is for now the finished one. I'm gonna build, like, a little sort of garden in front of this area right here that's going to kind of stick out and be a beautiful little trellised area for the lower tunnel to look at and the upper tunnel to look over. Um, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Polymer G, uh, please don't be toxic on my channel. Don't appreciate people calling each other names. Uh, Laser World. <laughs> Does the coronavirus help your channel or does it not? Uh, laser, sort of, not really. Um, I got more views when it started, but on the converse side, I got fewer donations and the donations are really how we keep things running. So sadly, it did not super help me. Um, at least I was able to continue working, so I am very lucky in that way. And because I work from home, I'm also staying very safe, so that helps as well. Um, how old am I? I'm 29. She says cute. Yeah, right? I love it. Look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. I'm not even close to done. Not even close to done with this whole build. Uh, okay, so now... Now, guys, the major issue is figuring out where I want to put my hatchery. So the hatchery is going to be a big building. Uh, let's actually grab the griffin so I can scout a little easier. So this is the front. I wanted to leave some space out here for the garden, etc., um, cause I wanted a beautiful garden here, but that's kind of not flat. So the only other really flat piece of land I have is over here. Now, do I want to connect it? It's going to be tricky to try to connect something to that build. I might just make it a separate build. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, hey, Jay, thank you so much for this room love donation, man. He says, I've been watching since your 10th video. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Hey, Jay. That is, that is OG. That is the original viewers right there, if you've been watching for the 10th. Um, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> you want to see me get the kits out? I will. I will. Um, I'm more worried about where to put the hatchery. I'm going to destroy the griffin trap I have and replace it. But the actual hatchery is going to have a dino entrance here, I think. And then this will be the bulk of the actual building. I think it's a separate building. I hate it. I wanted to make it connected, but I just don't think there's a way to do it. I don't think there's a way to do it and make it work. You know what I mean, guys? Um... This is all going to turn into open area once I have it all cordoned off. This is all going to be open. There won't be gates there. So I'll be able to run through there to get to the hatchery itself. 
I don't know. So I can straight shot it here. Mm, I don't think there's a way to make that work without doing some weirdness. <laughs> Lago, yes, you can be lazy on YouTube because you're not a mod. Uh, I don't like beach bases. Chad, I love beach bases, but um, these are these are currently... I, I just haven't built them. This is one of my favorite places to build on the map is by Stonehenge. Um, so this is just where I happen to choose to build this time. But I think beach bases can be amazing. There's, there's a lot of room. There's a lot of flat space. I love building really cool docks. I've actually built a really cool dock on one of my single player games um, and one of my multiplayer games as well, actually. Um, I actually have like a dock that has a greenhouse on it, which is cool. Um, so I have all sorts of stuff like that. Um, yeah, I like beach bases. They're great. <laughs> Let's see. Am I still single? Blue Dragon, yes. Currently, I'm still single. <laughs> um, yeah, Willow, no worries. I, I, that's why I told him off for being rude. It's, uh, it's not nice to call people names, and it's not something I approve of on my channel, and if it continues, I will... Take action. No worries, Will. You are safe here. That is the goal. Um, okay. So, we need these box hedges, unfortunately. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts my amber balance. I had such an even 1501, but it's fine. So, this is where... This is where my uh, iguanodons really get to shine, because I'm going to place some hedges around the bases of these metal things so I can't see it from the outside because I hate them. And I need to learn or make or do something with... Uh, I need to start making the actual hatchery itself. I think I'm going to use thatch foundations to connect it all, because thatch is super cheap which is good, and light, which is really good. So I'm going to lay out my foundations in thatch just to kind of... Oh, I did... I did not need 200 foundations. Thanks, game, though. Let's make, like, 100. Ah, I did not need 200. Um, like, is this what? You're single? See how quickly she misses the best husband ever? Like, oh, you're not my husband. Don't lie. <laughs> You haven't even married your first wife yet. Um, let's see. <laughs> Chad says all my bases are on beaches. Just one problem, the trees spawn in your base even after you build there. Yeah, Chad, I have that problem too on my single player especially. It's a problem. Um, <laughs> Sour Sauce says, since people started calling people simps, Emeralds have lost a lot of their support from streams. Um, I don't really notice that necessarily, but it's, it's definitely a rude term. It's not a nice term, and I don't, uh, I don't approve of anybody calling each other names. Diego says, are you rich? No. <laughs> no, Diego. Um, I have a full-time job, and I work, uh, streaming and YouTube to earn a little bit extra, and because it's fun, uh, but I do have to monetize it to make it worth doing. So it kind of sucks. I would love to be a full-time streamer, gamer, but that is a really, really long ways away. Um, I barely make enough to live off of, to be perfectly honest. Um, I have a very small house. I have two dogs, and it's expensive to support all of that. So I'm doing my best, but uh, no, definitely not rich. I don't even have retirement savings or health insurance, so it's a thing. Um <laughs> Uh, let's see. The great James says, you don't understand how many live streams I've missed. Well, I'm glad you're here today, James. How's it going? Of course, Willow. Always supporting you. I always forget that thatch foundations are so much heavier than the actual materials. Like, it, it actually surprises me every time. All right, maybe we'll stop this at like 50 so that we can actually start trying to plan out the hatchery. <laughs> um, don't get where people get the disconnect thinking all streamers are rich. Uh, Lego, it's because they think that that um, that that 
it it's because there's sort of a a weird connect in our minds between people who are well known and people who have money and unfortunately that's not the case in terms of people who are content creators very very few content creators make enough to live off of most of them do have day jobs we are not celebrities um and they we don't make as much as someone who like makes a movie it's very very different industries and the reach that we have is so much less we just we're never gonna have as much as those people do um that's just a fact uh, some people do make enough to live off of, but you have to have a lot of people, and you have to have a lot of people supporting you in a big way to make that happen. Um, <laughs> it would be different if I was actually selling tickets to my streams, you know? If every stream cost a dollar to get into, uh, and the same number of people were watching, then I would be making enough to live off of, but, yeah, no, I don't get a dollar per person watching. Um... <laughs> Sean says sad life. No, no, no. Happy life. Happy life, guys. Do I remember my first ARC video? Vandalicio. Yes, I do. My first ARC video was actually a Scorched Earth video. I started off playing on PC right before I got into the mobile beta um, and started making content on that. It was quite fun, um, but <laughs> I will say it is something else trying to play PC ARC versus playing mobile ARC. They are two entirely different animals in terms of content and I actually prefer mobile um for my content but it was really fun I had like a tiny little scorched earth series I was doing that ended up not uh not getting finished because I got busy with mobile and other things but it happens okay is there a way to connect to these in a way that makes sense because I have to go through Stonehenge and I kind of like having the ruin here. I don't think there is. I mean, I have all this space, but it doesn't connect there. It just doesn't. So maybe what we do is just start the build separate. I think it has to be separate. I don't think there's a way around that. But I do want to line this up first before I convert it all to metal. Uh, make sure that I'm happy with the shape of it. Hi, trike. Stay well away from my stuff, please. Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Okay, we'll do this. No! Game, please. Snap. Thank you. Am I gonna have space for that? Okay, I have space for that. Let's do that. I did not need to do that. I just wanna do an outline right now of what this building is gonna look like. Okay, this is too small. So I'm gonna have like a three deep entrance, four deep. One more, there we go. So this building is going to take up literally, I'm going to try to like stretch it over here, most of this flat area here. It's going to be huge. There. I want all of the space for my hatchery. It's going to be massive. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be a funky building. And I'm going to love it all the same. Um, actually... Let me think here. I actually kind of want to be able to get into it from this side. I don't think I will very often. I think I'm probably going to be coming in through the back side a lot. But it would save me some foundations if I started, like, a little more over that way. Nah. Nah. We'll just make it huge. Why not? Okay. So, that's that. Um, is this wide enough for a behemoth gate is the question. I'm going to grab a behemoth gate and test that. And this is as wide as this is going to go. How deep can I get that to go? I can probably take that down to here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. It's a process, guys. It's a real process trying to, to figure this build out. <laughs> um, one question. How will you get your water source there? Uh, Chad, so I really only need water in the greenhouse. Um, and the greenhouse, I still haven't worked out exactly how I'm going to place the 
like generators and wires and things for all of that. Um, I think I'm going to have multiple generators because I have multiple buildings. So one generator per building, basically. Which I'm probably going to hide upstairs in a corner. Uh, that's the idea. And then use wires to take those down, like, the back sides of buildings, maybe? We'll see. But essentially, water source is down that way. I'm going to have it piped up into this building. I don't plan to need water anywhere other than this greenhouse. That's kind of the goal. No! Okay. So that, having those um, extra windows did actually affect my greenhouse stuff. That super sucks. That super sucks. I am going to make all of my crop plots stone, though, because they look better by far. I'm going to make the stone ones. Um, but I was doing this to test the greenhouse effect, and I did lose some greenhouse effect when I added that upper level, which is not what you want. Which is not what you want. It's a problem. <laughs> Thank you guys so much to everyone who is subbing. I really appreciate it, guys. I can do it. There we go. Oh no. Wait. Really? I was 100% sure that Ketz's would fit through hatch frames. That's why I built it. I thought they fit. I know you can drop them down through them. Oh well. We have a cat's in a greenhouse now. I can request them out. That's fine. Um, I have a bed placed. I will just request him to, to the nearest bed and it won't be a problem. But that does super suck. <laughs> I didn't think about that. We'll make it happen. Um... Nick Gaming says, do you have a boyfriend? I do not. Uh, Laser says, I hope your channel will grow stronger. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, Sana says, I feel like tech brings the whole idea of Ark down because it's like you're back in time with dinos, but then you learn how to create technology, which like ruins the plot of Ark. Sana, um, yes, but also like if you look at the overarching theme of Ark, it's, it's all about having... Um, like, the, the whole time-space thing becomes an issue, so it's a little hard to describe. But essentially, they had to go sci-fi with this game. There's no other way that they could explain, like, dinosaurs and humans and these weird implants you have on your wrists and stuff. Like, <laughs> there's really just no way that they could explain these things. Um, other than going with a sci-fi sort of explanation. And so that's what they did. And it's good. It's fine. Um, no, I accidentally hit the greenhouse door. My life, dude. Several of these have been punched. That's not good. Need to fix those. Um, so it's, it's a whole thing. Like, I feel like it works into the overall lore, but you do have to be familiar with lore to to understand that, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, you have to be really familiar with the Ark Lord to understand why the tech does work with the game. <laughs> Dago says, fly out and close the door. It will glitch out. Um, Dago, I unfortunately can't fly out and close the door because the door is blocked, so it won't close. It, like, says that it's blocked for some reason. Dino. Bye, Griff. Thank you so much for hanging out. Kids will fit through behemoth gates, most likely. They should. It all should fit. The most confused. Where did my behemoth gates go? Uh. He cleaned out the smithy. There's some blueprints and some mats and some stuff. No, where did the behemoth gates go? Huh? No? No? They were, they were right in the smithy. We had the, the big walls and Apex, what did you do? Apex, what did you do? Where are they? I don't know where he put them. The behemoth gates were already made. And now I don't know where they are. I'm the most confused. Uh, are they on a bird? Did I put them? Nope, I know where I put them. I put them on the cats. 
I'm a genius today, guys. I'm totally paying attention. Uh, <laughs> bye, AP9. Thank you so much for hanging out. Say E. E. Uh, you want to be last again? <laughs> there you go, Vindelicio. That's a good goal. Royal Griffin, how's it going? Uh, do I want to dye my build too? Ruhan, um, not actually. I... There they are. I actually kind of like the way that the build looks. Um, I don't like the metal, obviously, except for this one hatch frame, which had to be metal, but I don't like the metal foundations, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with those to make them look less horrible. But as far as it goes, I actually really like, um, I don't know, I really like the way that stone looks. I think it looks warm. The, the glass walls, I think, look really good the way they are. I don't know that I would undo that and paint them. You can get some really cool, like, stained glass patterns if you have enough glass on a building. But I don't think that's something I'm really interested in doing on this build. I, I tend to like the way things look naturally, and I'm not the best painter, so it's a bit of a problem for me. Oh yeah, plenty of space. Plenty of space. Um, I'm the most thirsty. There we go. Okay, so behemoth gates unfortunately do not snap to anything, but this is going to work. And it's just about the right width as well, which is perfect. Ow! I know, I know, I know, I get it. Okay, I need to destroy these. <laughs> oh my gosh, game, please. Poking myself in the butt. Um, <laughs> I made all these spike walls to protect my uh, griffin tames, and then they backfired on me severely just now. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to gauge how big this is. This is like planning stages of a build. Right there. That's about even. A little tilted. This is very difficult. Do these snap to anything? I don't think Behemoth Gates snap to anything. But I think they should. I really think they should. Just saying. Uh, Fromster says, why did your Test Kingdom server have a code to enter? Because it's for patrons only. Gameplay, how's it going? Late, sorry, to did not send you a notification. That's totally fine, man. I know how that goes. The notifications are a little broken sometimes. Gamer Life says you're awesome. Thank you, man. Everyone has to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I apologize that you guys have to go to bed. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a good night. All right, I will eventually get those. I kinda want it like there. Yeah, there-ish, we'll see. They will snap to a fence foundation. That isn't the best, but the mana foundation. Uh, whoa, 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 wait. They will snap to a fence foundation, but that isn't the best, but the mana foundation. Apex, what do you mean? Like, I definitely need this for the hatchery. I need at least one behemoth gate to get in and out. So if I do that, the the important thing is, is that it's going to fit. Yeah? So I can now officially make this. I can make this. I can make this a building. Uh, Deep, how's it going? What did you miss? Not too much. Retreat says chat went by fast when I wrote this, but there are some dinos that fit through the gateways, but not when the door part is attached. It's probably the same for the kits for the giant trap door. That's dumb, and I hate it. <laughs> I don't like that physics work on this game sometimes, and it makes me mad. Sometimes physics just make no sense, and then sometimes they don't let you do what you want. Come on, game. I'm the most confused about this. All right. If we need fence foundations, um, I'm going to do that base out of metal, so we'll have to make metal fence foundations. But the behemoth gate will fit on it, which is important. Um, using 
Fence foundations isn't a good technique to place behemoth up onto foundations. What is? Usually climb a ladder. Use your controller to place behemoth. Yeah, but that's not ideal. I think I'm going to have to use the fence foundations, Apex. I think I'm going to have to. Um, just, just because I think there's no other way for me to get it snapped where I want it to go, if that makes sense. Um, alright, so I'm, like, getting the most distracted, guys. Also, I need to be able to fit a Giga in this building, so I am gonna eventually have to convert it as well and make it taller. Which is a problem. Did I even learn fence foundations? I don't think I did. The hatchery is, like, the most important thing. There we go. We'll make it work somehow. I have to, like, close this and reopen. Otherwise, the thing doesn't show up. There we go. I need, like, 12 of these. And then a bunch more foundations. All of them, in fact. All of the foundations. And then we're going to be out of metal. Fantastic. Um... <laughs> Sylvester says, I'm sorry it's been a while and I've been busy. I've been in this a ton of stuff. Sylvester, welcome in. Um, no, you're fine. Anytime you can pop in is appreciated. Kukla, you stay three hours now? I'm so excited that you can. We're almost, oh my gosh, we are almost at three hours. We're going to have to end off soon. <laughs> uh, Gameplay King second account says, do you remember me? Yes. Yes, I do. How's it going, man? All right. How are the puppers? The puppers are hungry, Willow. All right. This is such a slow process, and it actually upsets me. Uh, okay. I hear a trike. I hear a trike, and I don't like it. Get away from my build. Oh, it makes me nervous. Oh, it makes me nervous. As long as no one touches it, it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. Okay, so the goal actually here... Let's go ahead and look about... Let's go ahead and think about this garden for a second. Um, Because I do want to make a garden here. And I kind of want to wall it off. I want it to be an enclosed garden. That's only accessible by a trellis at either end. Let me... Let me do some garden stuff, guys. We're gonna spend some amber, unfortunately, while we wait for stuff to craft. That's not it. There it is. I hate, hate spending that much amber on it. Alright. So we have those, which is important. I also need this tree. Actually need that tree. Okay, um, so when we're crafting these, what do we need? Wood and thatch? Okay, let's grab some of that and craft some fences and some trellises. And let's see if we can't make this even. Uh, I need thatch, I think. Yeah, it's thatch, fiber, and wood. Which we have plenty of those. Let's make, like, mm, ten of these, and two of these for now. I can make as many trees as I want, but we'll hold off on that. Uh, Yether says, Steel Wyvern Eggs. Uh, that will be coming along on the Cross Arc series at some point. Uh, we're not there yet, but it will happen. How do you have so much amber? Uh, Vinalexio, I have amber because I purchased it. And because I find amber piles on this game, I've actually found like six amber piles on this game from playing normally. Uh, would I play on Crystal Isles? Uh, Sylvester, I actually have a Crystal Isles server and I have been playing on there on um, stream on Twitch. Uh, I do stream on Twitch and I play different games there, mostly PC, including Crystal Isles. And it will be part of the Cross Arc series. So that is the thing. Um, am I friends with Schwab? Yes, I am. Not IRL, but online, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Deep, I did buy this Amber with my own money. Uh, Game of Life says I should keep playing. 
I mean, it has been a full three hours. The dogs are hungry, but yeah, it's a whole thing. I Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to finish the hatchery today, but at least we did get the main builds done, which is a big, big chunk of progress. It's huge, actually. We have made the most progress. Greenhouse hatch isn't straight. What do you mean it's not straight? Apex over here picking on my builds. All right, so I have to attach these to fence foundations, sadly, I believe. And then I think the trellis is just free place. Yeah, you can free place the trellis, but they do snap to the weirdest angles. Why is that a snap? What? Huh? Confused. I'm confused. I don't understand that at all, but it's fine. Um, so we're going to have like two trellises leading into the garden here and here so that there's going to be like a nice little path you could walk and have there be like the Carno statue. I'm going to move out here. Um, but first I need to get some, uh, some fences up and then start decorating, um, with some bushes. So that's a project for next time or maybe offline. We'll kind of see how it goes. Apex, I'm going to request the cats out. Don't worry about it. Eventually. Um, yeah, but it's been, it's been a good stream and things are crazy and I'm still working on the, uh, the other stuff. We are the most blind right now. Do I have a functional torch at all? I can't even, I can't even repair my own torch, guys. That's how, that's how many resources I'm, like, picking up and dropping every two seconds. Wait, someone had a torch. Uh, Willow, you're my hero. Stand right there. <laughs> Perfect. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Willow. Okay, uh, can you trade Amber? No, you cannot, sadly. Um, okay, guys, so that is it. That is going to do it for today's stream. Uh, it was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. There's more to do, obviously, but uh, we will get there eventually. Um, sing the cup song again. Next time. How's that from, sir? Next time we will sing the cup song. Next week. So, guys... Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please remember to hit the like button on your way out. And I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.